Hey, what's going on? We are without our man. Oh, I don't even like on yet. Uh, this is gonna be a heck of a show. This is gonna be a heck of a show this week. Uh, we are without our man Jedi Johnson. Unfortunately, you can't join us, but we're gonna have plenty of guests. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna show you lots of footage. We are gonna do a card breaking uh, at one point. We also are. I don't know what we're gonna do. We have so much stuff. We got a list of Santicas and whatever first appearances. We got a whole big show. Pete hit the intro. Uh, and then we'll try to do a better job of introduction, introducing people. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, what's going on? It's me, Marco. Uh, welcome to Tales from the Dark Side. We've also got Pete from Renovision. Pete, say hello. JJ from just being JJ and Double J Comics and <laughs> Solo Wookie. Hey, we're also going to have Dom stop by. We do a little bit of con talk. We had an unbelievable, uh, I don't know, man. The con was crazy, but we'll get into it. Uh, we've got some cool stuff for pickups. We'll be doing in a little. Are we doing pickups first or afterwards? Uh, we're doing we news and then pickups. News, news and pickups. Cool. Then we'll do that. Some of the stuff I got at the con, some stuff, whoever else has pickups. We're going to have a long show. I'm going to try not to pass out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, let's get to our first segment. Let's get into news real quickly. Oh, wait. First off, Ed, hi for the algorithm. Uh, Stick, good to see you. Jeffrey, I'm going to say hi to everybody eventually. Chad Cave, what's going on? What is going on? Uh, GT Key Comics. Oh, we also might have uh, uh, one of the uh, co-owners of the channel of Tales show up too. He, uh, McClay might show up. Ronnie, what's going on? Whew, Sacred Jedi text. Cool. Hey, and uh, appreciate everybody I saw at the cons. Sorry for the people I didn't miss, and we'll give some good tips later on and maybe how to how to get that handled. But let's go and start it off with news. News? All right. Here, here we, we go. go. Okay. So first up in the news, there is a very interesting announcement of Bring Home the Bounty with Galaxy Spanning Products. So apparently we're going to get like uh, 12 weeks of Book of Boba Fett lead up where every week they're going to give us like these new products they released. Uh, among them how's made it, news. Go ahead. How's that worked out in the past, JJ? I, not great. <laughs> Yeah, disaster. Well, okay. well, this way, the first week was like um, there was some her universe like stuff, and I think like a pair of Crocs. <laughs> I think was the answer for the first week. Hey, it's like her universe Crocs. stuff. They, I can't. I can't complain just, about her universe stuff. So yeah, they're not yeah. just regular Crocs. They're more Wookie Crocs. Wookie Crocs. They were Wookie Crocs. Oh, but the yeah. ones that smell. Yeah. Buzzy? No. Yeah. No, <laughs> they're bad. No, they look gross. Look, they look the, like yeah. they smell. So you had that, and then but the thing that a lot of people seized up. Was there was a video game announcement crammed way down there, like week ten? So like the near the beginning of December, we're supposedly supposed to get big video game news. I still think it's a mobile game. There really isn't any info out there about it yet. But um, he's I bad. Think, he I, actually I think, heard what I said last week when I was like, yeah. it, it definitely is not uh, the second version of uh, yeah. what's this called. That or it's going to be some. Uh, it'd be nice to be nice to see some actual uh, nice the old Republic remake game footage would be nice, like actual gameplay. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> We d we did see the uh, soap at I actually we me and Pete both have that soap they, I didn't buy it myself I mean it was a gift dude I got extra you got an extra one well, yeah because they Dusted automatically sent it to me because I didn't cancel in time and I was like well cancel the order like we can't cancel we've already shipped it no but nice they refunded me so I'm like okay well, that's nice so I send it back. Free soap. So I have an extra thing of soap. You <laughs> want to do something with the bars of soap? <laughs> They're probably afraid somebody would use it and send it back. Yeah, yeah, the Doctor Sasquatch stuff. Yeah, yeah, I get to. I want to try it really, here. really bad, but it's. I don't know. It, one smells like dirt. The other smells like. Hey, yeah, what's going the, on, Kyle? The dark side ones. They're 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 rough smell. They're I'll like. See, if I, if I go take my pee, my bathroom break, I'll run up and grab it and show it to you, Chad. Sith, yeah. Sith can't be it, clean. Is that what you're telling me? Uh, <laughs> no, one of them smells alright. One's got like pungent. cinnamon in it or something, which is I'll, fine. I'll, but I'll try it. Maybe get some, you send it to me. I'll try it and maybe get some live reaction. Hey, so people at the con could have used it. I swear to God. By the way, whoever and I know it's somebody that watches this channel. Whoever you were that kept coming by me and crop dusting yeah not funny bro <laughs> not funny and yes i'm that loud that i yell it out at the con i know what you're doing stop doing it so hey dusty is your uh hey is jedi over there with you yeah no man it got <laughs> so bad it got so bad and then hey and the best part was like i was standing at a booth that i was helping my buddy at his booth on a corner and it was by the food thing so whoever was doing it was walking by like the food the food line and crop dusting the food line coming back 
do it again. Come back, dude. I was like, oh, maybe man. they were hungry. They were trying to clean. They were the not hungry. So they <laughs> And we got cameras, so we know who you are. Um, Chemical warfare. Dude, it's ridiculous. What's going on, Jeffrey? And Dave, what's going on, Dave's Collections? All right. Kylo, so, Kylo in the chat. Next up, Hold next on. up. Next I, we're already forward. off the rails. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. It took I'm five minutes to get off the rails. We're supposed to be. <laughs> I was like, just keep me on time, guys. All right, go ahead. Yeah. What's next? Bridget? This one's for the kiddos. Uh, apparently, there yes. on, the, on the Star Wars Kids YouTube, there is a new series that's going to be launching mm-hmm. called Galaxy mm-hmm. of Creatures. So I, I guess it's like one of those like at the zoo type features, but Star Wars animated. Yeah. Looks good. It looked interesting. So friendly oh, well, got your kiddos. And it's free. It's free on YouTube. Mm. So. Friendly rancors and <laughs> friendly wampas. Yep. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Ed. Was it yeah. you, Ed? If it's you, I know what you look like now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> next. <laughs> What's next? Uh, so I had to include this in there because I think it comes out, I think October 29th, but there was a, they put out the first pages for Thrawn's, the last of the second trilogy of Thrawn. So, which is the prequel trilogy. to Yeah. Which is actually a prequel to the trilogy that was before this. So, not confusing at all, but apparently there's going to be a character <laughs> called Thras, and it sounded interesting from the pages they released. So. so if it's a prequel, should you read the prequel before the other three or should you read four five and six and then go back and read one uh i and so we've asked this question before in my mm-hmm. opinion is read four five and six it's just like the star wars trilogy sure. if you watched okay. one two and three i'm not quite sure you would have watched four five and six so watch mm-hmm. four read four five and six and then one two and three is added on to it it's just an okay. add-on right jj one and two at well, least no, so far as one been- two and three were the main ones about thrawn and then four five and six are the prequel ones Yes, yeah, yeah. but, well, he, but, but like not, he's talking about time wise. So oh, yeah, be. yeah, yeah. The first three that came out are actually would be if you're reading these in order, the, the third time wise line, the mm-hmm. third book is, yeah. is in the second, one. yeah, yeah. and the last is going to be number three. Time wise, the last three books, especially the fifth book, is like, is I mean, it's sort of it's got Thrawn in there, but it's not really about Thrawn, uh, it's more about the shit. Chiss, yeah, 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 so. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it's like a lot of history. The first three are more interesting, put it that way. Anyways. Oh, Ed, I might be coming down to see you soon, by the way. Uh, the first you guys three, the con four, five, on November, I think. Yes. <laughs> Cro- do do yeah, not do it chronologically. Just the first three books that came out from the Thrawn trilogy, the first Thrawn trilogy, read those first. Then the second one, which are the prequel to it, read those next. And the third one after that. We got when, Jedi, when Jedi's back on the show, I'll draw up a timeline. So... <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll figure it, it out. Hey, Dom, it. what's going on, bud? Hey, what's going on? We're not gonna keep you on for the whole time. We do have the in a little bit, probably after reviews, we'll go through some con stuff. So, yeah. all right, okay. uh, what's up next? Next, uh, this is just interesting. I always like to highlight one of these like Star Wars fans thing. So apparently, in Russia, there was this group of cosplayers that <laughs> rebuilt or built a life size X wing. This was after they built a life size Razor Crest, which apparently got destroyed. But um, wow. so you can see the X wing there on the right, and then the cockpit of the Razor Crest there on the. On, well, my ride, I guess, but yeah. So I don't know. It was interesting, and uh, apparently, it took like I don't know ten thousand dollars, and they put like they sold a car and put their savings into it and everything. And Dedication. 50, 50, I'm going. That uh, is. That is. So many questions. <laughs> but this is. I mean, this is awesome. I love it. But like, okay, how did it get destroyed? And how long did it take them? And how much money? The article wasn't super clear, ship? but apparently, the area in Russia they were in is like negative forty-one degrees Fahrenheit in the winter. So they had to like get a special hangar to store it in, and I don't. So know have that... you ever been to Russia before? It's ran by an oligarchy and a bunch of thugs. There's a <laughs> lot of the empire that destroyed yeah. the race. Well, and that's how, yeah, they right? kind of said they said they had made some mistakes in building the first one. So maybe like the actual Razor Crest, somebody blew it up. I don't know. <laughs> or they stole it, or they actually stole it, which is more likely what happened. Yeah, the government probably, probably confiscated so. it, I stripped it for parts. Come, coming in and being like, no, Darn no, Jawas. boom, yeah, or Jawa yeah. attack. Uh, Next and time. I. I can't, I guess they have some high winds in that area wow. because that X wing <laughs> is strapped down. Like that's mm-hmm. they don't no, that's booby that trap so that nobody steals it. <laughs> 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 By the way, yeah, I mean mines are legal there too. So like, there's a lot of weaponry you can't use over here that it's like perfectly okay over there. You know? Maybe they strapped down or they propped up so the wings don't bend. Moff Gideon, oh, oh. Get you out there. Yeah, oh, Moff Gideon. The guy who plays Moff Gideon, by the way, was at the con. R- Dom, right? Real dope, oh, yeah. dude. Real dope, yeah, dude. He's... Guys, John Carlo. You... John Carlo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he come out like the guy was crazy. He was so nice. Actually, everybody at the con was so nice. Man, Diet Cates, nice kid. Small kid, nice kid though. And uh, she, Ming, Ming, she oh, she was there. 
She's beautiful. About yeah, her yeah. brother, his brother. Oh, to, we'll talk about it later. All right, let's yeah, go. Yeah, keep yeah, going. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Stop jumping <laughs> segments. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so this is an interesting one. Um, this so the director of the Ninth Jedi tweeted a little. Uh, I guess had an interview and then it came across on Twitter, but where he said that uh, he would be interested in seeing the story continued and that he even had the story mapped out to continue hmm. Interesting. from that. So kind of interesting. Um, yes. Yes, and, please. Yeah. He said he would build it out even, you know, even if you didn't, even if you weren't a fan, he would kind of make you like it, I guess. But, yeah, so we will test that with Jedi. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> still sucked. He's like, never yep. again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this is for those tabletop gaming guys out there. I don't know if there's any of them that watch our channel, but uh, I guess the Star Wars role playing, like the main license, switched from its previous Fantasy Flight games to a new company. So mm-hmm. apparently they're going. I don't know. Maybe this works differently. Like there's like it's like records or something where there's like originals and rights, but they have to also reprint previous material. Really? So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you may see new versions of old Star Wars role playing and tabletop they're games. Gonna, you know out. what they're going to do is roll out that freaking. Uh... That um, Kotor one. Yeah. Well, the X-wing yeah. game's been like popular forever. I don't know if this is the same that company. Kotor one's expensive as shit. Yeah. Just the the that the thing for that is like the book manual for that. I think gets up to like four or five hundred dollars. So, huh. anyways, go ahead. So new version maybe before too long. Mm-hmm. Yep. So next. Uh, so this was interesting. We'll get more into this in the comic review part. But um, in the Trail of Shadows, there was a an interesting creature that resembled a nice or a character from a creature i should say from the old republic the i'm gonna say it wrong taran terra i think is how you say it close enough um, but yeah kind of like crazy monster jedi or i should say force power vampires is kind of huh. what they were mm-hmm. so um yeah very interesting uh if you want to ever pick up their comic first appearance too bad it's the first <laughs> appearance also of revan and malik and uh, Bastila. So yeah, you're gonna pay a pretty penny for <laughs> the first time they show up in a comic. Time, uh, yeah, but, yeah. So next, uh, this is another interesting little tidbit. Apparently, uh, Disney, in a roundabout way, I guess, uh, or I should say, Lucasfilm, in a roundabout way, confirmed that in Episode Nine, Palpatine was looking for the war, uh, the world between worlds. Right. Uh, not to be confused with a link between worlds from Legend of Zelda. <laughs> but a similar concept of basically time travel in the Star Wars universe is basically what it was. But, yeah, the world between yeah. worlds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That originally is... revealed in Rebels. So, uh-huh. <clears throat> mm-hmm. okay. so next, uh, <laughs> this was a very interesting interview with Jason Isaacs. I normally don't put slash film stuff up there, but um, they, they do a couple interesting interviews. Apparently, Jason Isaacs he was asked about whether or not he would ever like reprise the Inquisitor role or return to Star Wars, like and. <laughs> He literally said he can't acknowledge the existence of Lucasfilm because of the NDAs. And even in the conversation, he could cut the guy's tongue out for asking, like jokingly said it. And then the reporters were, well, maybe hypothetically. And he got cut off and said, there's no hypothetical. So apparently Jason Isaacs does not want to talk about being cast in Star Wars, which I find interesting. I'd love to see him back. Which means he's probably cast in Star Wars. Yeah, I, I'd love to see him back. So maybe. Of course, that set off rumors that out. Jason Isaacs is going to return as the Grand Inquisitor or Thrawn or whoever. But, so, yeah. Fun interview and reply, nonetheless. I guess we want to get out of that, like the Star Wars rumor that you're casted. That's one way to do it. So, <laughs> yeah, that means he's in. All right, go ahead. What's up next? next. Uh, so this is kind of funny. I guess the Latin America account of Disney Plus on Twitter uh, threw shade at the at the sequel trilogy. Um, literally, they tweeted out um, or translated. I guess they tweeted out the latest Star Wars trilogy is the best, and then put red flags and sarcasm behind it. So, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. yeah, yeah, important okay. to remember that the Latin America version of Disney Plus doesn't actually start until November. So <laughs> they're off to a killer start, probably in Disney's view, with this tweet. But yeah, you know, so they had that. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. I think they're becoming more okay with it. Being yeah, a I think yeah. they understand. I don't think they'll ever actually retcon it. Everybody was like, "Oh, this could lead to a retcon." No, they're, yeah, not, they're but, never retconning it. No, stop that. But Get out of they're here. they're willing to admit that get the jabs in every now and then I think. you want to know why because like they, they this is why they don't care anymore and they start doing it like the christmas specials back if they yeah. really gave two craps and thought it because that was a laughing stock for the longest of time so no i think they're good all, all right, right. Look, they're definitely not going anywhere because they're putting all the uh, lore into the new stuff now like everything's leading up to the uh the sequel trilogy so yeah they really are mm-hmm. they're yes. adding it back in that's just not going anywhere 
All right, let's get to comic reviews. We'll fly through it as quickly as possible. Oh, you got pickups. Oh, pickups. pickups. That's right. Oh, mm. good. Dom, do you have pickups? Pick yes, I do. Let Dom's me got go pickups. get them pulled up. You go for Who else has got pickups not from the con this weekend? I got not from the con pickups. I'll okay, go real quick. JJ, con for non con pickups. Let's uh, go. $11. Picked up both these. Ooh, oh, nice. The Mark yeah. Brooks. I know it's the Phasma series, uh, but you know. No, 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 who cares? Yeah, she, you yeah. know what? One Maybe they'll do a one, real one in two hundred. This guy is. I thought it was a one in one hundred when I bought. That's it. a story they need to retcon. Is the Captain Phasma one? Yeah, because they didn't go deep enough into that. Background story is a ripoff of Tarkin, and then they killed her off too early. So. Yep. Uh, let's see. Next up, I put these on Instagram, but I figured I'd show them off anyways. Hey, so I got some. The I, nice. I, I premium on the John Boy Myers Boba Fett. Oh. Get here and, and got this guy, and also got hey, these guys here with it. All right, so while we do it, too, I know we're not. Oh, those are cool. Wow, yep. Comic Man Andy next week, he's gonna make an appearance here. We're gonna do some crossovers, and Yay. then on Renovision for all you Renovision people, he's gonna be coming on. We're gonna do a big con special on Renovision on Wednesday, just so you know. Um, nice, and then he's a good cat for about ten dollars a piece. I got some minty fresh. Star Wars oh, Insiders. Oh, yeah. Make nice. sure they're not Minty oh, Fresh while you're folding them. Now. Well, well they're, from, they're magazines. They're stiff. You eBay, you believe it or not. Kids Trapper Keeper or what? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> eBay. I just put them in there. I didn't have anything else. Oh, no, I I and some are still polybagged. Check that out. Oh, that's nice. wow. that's a good still polybagged. Okay. I'm sorry. You found these where? Mm. On eBay. 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 Huh. The old bay. Big A, little B. About 10 bucks a piece. Maybe better. later on some other show. We'll do an unboxing of this guy. I kind of forgot. We will. Uh, next I had week. a game. Yep, had some GameStop credit, and I spent it on that, and forgot that that's what I spent it on. But yeah, not to go back to the con. That was really cool, though. There was two guys that got those and got them signed by both Ming and uh, uh, Oh the Carlos. Helmet? Yeah, yes. yeah, nice. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. All right, Dom, go ahead. You're up. All we right, got cool, 45 cool. in the chat, by the way. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Comic Andy is. He was. Comic Andy was on the news. He was. Uh, he was. Yeah. Very good. Yep. He was on the news. Channel. What channel was it, Comic Andy? Was it four? Can't it remember. was four. Yeah. Was yeah. Four. We were out All there right. in the editing truck with him. We were making him look good. There you go. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's the beard. All right. Ready? Yep. Bring it. So I got these. The oh, nice. Fits. Oh, rainbows. rainbows. The rainbows. The bubble rainbows. I should have given you my two. I you're still in town. Maybe I'll give them to you tomorrow. Well, look, the crazy thing was that these I haven't found them, and they were a reasonable price at the con. So, I had one guy with eighty bucks on one, and I got these for twenty five dollars a piece. Hmm. I should have just give you these ones over here. Uh, no yeah. problem. This is pretty cool. So they had this guy that was selling like Legos, and we'd be like, <laughs> oh yeah, back, yeah, hard in the back. He's a really cool. He had so many yeah, different uh, cool. characters. It has like a little bio in the back. Yeah, those are cool. I love those things. Those are so awesome. Man, I cannot like way- collect more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, believe it or not, I shouldn't be collecting more stuff either. I got uh, too much. And last but not least, this is what I kind of like. This the uh, Ooh. this mm. fit, the trilogy fit. Yeah. Came out. Nice guy. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, that's bad. nice. I like it. You know, it's considered okay. Toys R Us's are closed. Yep. So that's the pickups that I got. That's I'm, cool, I'm, man. I'm flying back to New York, so I can't really uh, yeah get too much stuff. It was cool, though. Like, <laughs> yeah. we went to dinner one night. No, we actually went to dinner two nights because the first night I wasn't even yeah. planning, but we went down by my spot, so I just had to stop off there. He got to see the sun, sunrise, sunset rain, uh, rainbow, right, Dom? Yep. He's at, he came out to my lake, got to see it. It's you can ask him. I tell everybody it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. And oh, it's nice. Believe me. It ain't no lie, bro. So, all right, let me show you all I got. Uh, um, quick question. Uh, yeah. F- I, I don't get down to New York, but last I heard, FAO Schwartz is still open in New York, correct? It is. It is, but it's okay. smaller. So, than see, not all the KB toys are closed. That one's still mm-hmm. open. It, yeah, yeah, it's enough. open, but they uh, cut in half of what the original saw was. Mm. Oh, really? That's all cool. right, so this is – I guess we could call this a pickup, but it was somebody – Somebody just, they knew I was looking for one of these. Oh. So they Oh, cooked. yeah, I love nice. that. And they were just, it's not even like a favorite thing. It was just a friend was like, hey, man, I know you've been looking for one of these for your daughter. So <laughs> I gotta just hook me up with it. The K2, you know, that's the the girl who passed K2. away from cancer and whatever. Oh. And um, 
whatever. I should have said that. Then I got one of these. I just picked one of these up because they were these in the droids. And I like these. I actually was going to buy it for Dom, but he said you already had one. So I was like, oh, well, okay. whatever. I'll keep it. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> 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 just... Then there was, okay, so there's a guy we're going to show later on in the con videos. And this guy got this box first. I'm really mad at him, but I still love him. Um, and he got three Air to the Empires. Two of them were newsstands for a dollar piece out of this box. This is why I pulled out of the box for a dollar piece. Nothing as great. But I got a shadow. Then nice. I got I I keep collecting this Jabba run because I like it. And when unfortunately, when the um there was that big Star Wars bubble, like everybody took them out of the boxes for some reason. And then hmm. they you couldn't see. So I was fishing oh, off my Darth Maul. I actually got three more of the Darth Maul. I just didn't have them. They're still in the truck. The other thing. I didn't pay. Oh, and then I picked this up out of there. Nice. Then me and Don found this place that was just selling 50 cent and dollar stuff. And that was kind of cool. So we, I got some of the new stuff. I got a couple of these. A couple of those. Mm -hmm. I I always get this one because of the first Bro. row in it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I hadn't seen them in a while. And he was saying... They were pulling all their stuff. They pretty much took out all their stuff that they had gotten from Penguin and throw it into a box because they considered it all damaged. And like, it wasn't all damaged. So uh, there was good stuff. Yeah, there was good stuff in there. Uh, and then there was good silver stuff in their other boxes for a dollar. It was just crazy. It was crazy. Uh, I did get air to the Empire 4. Oh. Ah, nice. Nice. Yep. For first, a dollar. Uh, huh? First Mara Jade cover. Yep. Yeah. For a buck, a newsy, which is nicey. So, not that I care, but that's why I bought it for a dollar, to be honest with you. And then buck, I got hey. two. I got two books. I got and and I, they gave me a deal on this too. I always keep picking these ones up. <laughs> oh man, I got. I know a he had of four of them. No, he, no. So he had four of them, and B Smith comes up and just like he hit me in the back, and I was like, no, let me explain to you. I don't have one, uh, newsy with the red because we there's yeah. so there's different print colors, right? There's the orange one. Then there's the darker yellow with the orange. There's the the writer red and the other red because of regional printing on it. And then after that, they're like, well, which one don't you have? And, and news. And I said, I don't have the darker red with the lighter yellow. And so I got whatever. Okay. So got that. Book. You should always pick that book up. No matter how many <laughs> of those you have, that's just a solid book to pick well, up. I, got a, I even got the <laughs> two different Especially witnesses. in high grade. Yeah. So, and that's, that, that thing is clean as shit. So, um, and then I got this and this we're going to show you when we're doing the stuff on Renovision, we're covering it. The guy who got these, the guy who did help, you know, who, because this is a variant, but what he tells us the whole story behind it, everything about it. It's really cool. I got the black and white, which actually is the one that less people, they don't, they don't like it as much, but it's also the rare of them. Yes. Yeah, the rarer um, one, but I don't the like rare of the two. I always yeah. like the color ones better. Yeah. The color one's cool, but we'll, we'll do some stuff and tell some stories later. That's to Wednesday show. We just got to clean up some, some of the stuff so that's most of the pickups i think that's enough pickups for right now um yeah that was the old school way of doing uh, your store variants you did the color and you did the black and white now they just do trade dress and virgin yeah he does so, the whole breakdown too yeah. of like what the percentages are and kind of how it works it's a guy named lauren it, it doesn't matter what state you live into he's at a con for you like he was just in new york last week right dom yeah. he was in new york last week i think he's he's probably going to do the mini uh, San Diego. I can't remember whatever he says. He says it in the thing when it's listed. But in there Baltimore, you go. So that's something about Baltimore. Then he was oh, he's in. probably yeah. He's being in Baltimore next week. Yep, mm -hmm. he'll be in Baltimore next week. And then yeah, there's gonna be a lot. I don't know how the guys are gonna do it because honestly, I think we are all exhausted. Unfortunately for Andy, we were supposed to take Andy out with a bunch of us last night, and Don knows this too. Like we, none of us made. None of the dealer guys. We we didn't make it out. Like. <laughs> <laughs> none of us made it out it was either you were ordering food service or you were sleeping so um it was that busy of a con it was amazing but it's also a really tough season what's up next oh comic reviews let me get into them i am sorry for everybody watching we got 46 it's nice but i am all over the place we will fly through comic reviews real quickly because we got a couple new books right and we have a creepy ass uh anakin huh oh <laughs> the damien one yeah the damien yeah, yeah, yeah. all right yeah yeah, he says you can put up his comment, Andy's. It was a crazy. It was crazy. Well, he, yeah, he, that was it. Like, thank God I exchanged phone numbers with him and a couple other people because Don will test it. So I was all over the place. They were, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and then it was, yeah, wasn't it, uh, what's the thing with the, 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 the ripoff of Valentine's Day that was going on too? 
Oh, Swedish Day? Swedish? Swedish, Swedish? Yeah. yeah. Okay, like we're that. sharing. What the hell is that? Swedish Day? It's a Midwest thing. It's like a okay. rip off That's of why I don't know what it is. <laughs> what the hell is it? It's like. You're not it, missing anything. Yeah, it's, it's like Valentine's Day, but instead of just being about chicks, it's supposed to be, well, now Valentine's Day for both, but it was originally supposed to be for everybody. So instead of One. buying cards, you're just supposed to take your, your boyfriend or your husband out. Well, I don't, right. don't know much yeah, about whatever. the Swedish, but their flag is a big plus. Yeah, I thought Swe- I thought Swedish. Too. No, I thought, no, 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 no. Like I thought he was saying the Swedish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, not a dirty, 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 dirty. No. All right, let's go. Trial yeah. of Shadows. Was it good, guys? That's what people want to know. Was the series good? Was it? Uh, starts off with some yep. Beth rotting and dying. Uh, yep. It's loading. Loading yeah. Graystorm. It is loading yep. Graystorm. Yep. Yep. After he fell off, and there's Yurik, and there's, and. Yep. He does the whole thing where he starts singing this song. You can see it in the background. It's like, we're coming to you away. You're coming to mm-hmm. They keep singing. He's like, why are you singing that song? And that's like, that's what was in the over and over. Yeah. He kept saying, he's like, I don't know. I didn't even know. I like, the Danny Glover of Jedi's. Oh, and then they had, so they did this. This creature's creepy as shit but, yeah. too, though. Kind of funny. So you're saying like, and that's him, right? Yeah. That's uh, Stan Stylin behind him. So they were both in an orphanage at one point. Is that what it was? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I don't know if that's what that was. It an orphanage or was it, or is that Bell? Because isn't Bell like all like petrified now? I don't think it's Bell because I it's think this Bell. is supposed to be those two. That's and him. I think it was okay. a holdover because he said he talked about fear. So it's definitely not yeah. a Jedi type. Well, he robot. mentions that him and their old friends. So it's probably yeah. Stellan. It's, it's those two guys. Yeah, Stellan. <clears throat> Uh, and then they give us the other side. This is actually kind of cool because we go to Coruscant level 1347. I don't think we're ever going to get 1313, but I think they keep they keep just closer. teasing us, we're right? Closer. <laughs> yeah, we're closer. Yeah. A little bit closer. And this guy's a cop, right? Like he's also a under detective cop or whatever. Her? No. Or the, I Yeah, I took it to be he was like an undercover thing and we she didn't it. know about it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. She's I like a she private did, but... Oh, she's a private investor. Yeah. No, I, I think at first she didn't know about it because he's like, "Oh, I blew my cover" or something like that. Mm-hmm. Ah. Save you. And then this little blue guy ends up getting shot. I didn't do that, but they. And then this this yeah. is the thing you're talking about earlier, right? The vampire guy. Or no? Hmm? No, I was talking about the leveler part. The fact that like all Loden's all shriveled up and it takes mm. all his medical reins away. No, no, no. He meant the uh, uh, the vampire from the from old republic. The old republic, like mm-hmm. the creature. Yeah. Well, I don't know who this guy is. This guy looks he just bad as hell, though. He's shooting and stabbing everyone. Oh, yeah. Which is awesome. So he kills a cop. Uh, that's always not a good idea. Um, and she almost dies, but she fires back at him right before he's about to stab her in the booty. Yeah. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and then they get back. At the same time, they're doing the double story thing that Star Wars loves to do. So yeah. he uh, takes his group of troopers in there, finds this tunnel. And if you see, he's like, hey, what does the writing on the wall mean? Oh, it's over here. I did these backwards. Sorry. My yeah. bad. What does the writing on the wall mean? And he goes, it's the first line to that lullaby that the creepy dude was was telling you. Same, and yeah. yeah, right before that, Stalin had said, like, I don't remember why, but for some reason that one part of the song ends as says dust to dust or dust of the world, and it's really odd. So they yeah. left us in a cliffhanger of her passed out yeah. after she shot the whatever, the devil vampire guy. And yeah. he's about to go in there and apparently run to some creaky pedophiles. So, but it, <laughs> overall... I thought the book was pretty strong, right? It's a little bit different yeah, of a twist well, on Star Wars. Ended with creepy pedophiles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a lot of a lot of exposition, but I thought it was good. It, yeah, mm-hmm. cool. and they uh, interesting. It's only like five books, right? Yeah, and the two yeah, characters haven't even met yet. The two characters that are teaming up haven't even met in the book, which I, found I know. Weird. I I, yeah. I had to read this part twice because I saw her on the ground. And I was like, wait, is she in? And I was like, no, they just did that yeah. stupid story split thing. Yep. So, weird so but i don't know yeah. it's come hopefully it comes together well i think hey you've already you've you've shot a bunch of people through the chest which is dope mm. all right uh you got some creepy dude that i think is going to meet his end yeah. and this guy seems pretty tight I'll, so i'll say this there was more action in this book mixed in with exposition but there was more action in this book than like the first three issues of the high republic marvel run <laughs> Damn, yep look for six probably yeah um cool yeah i like it reading it next okay creepy anakin hits up to vader we get uh laura luna whatever which lena, which, lena thank you yeah, lena. maya's brother so they go back to flying through jackson actually looks kind of cool in this one 
Uh, they get the whole original crew that was from the last one. Remember, this guy was getting electrocuted. She's about to have her nightmare. That is the really? basis of all these yeah, spirit castles. Huh? No, Quigley is it Quigley the little whatever? No, crab Gimli, the, the red bearded. Stop dwarf. saying that dude's Gimli. What's the name of the little crab thing again? <laughs> the little roly poly. <sighs> Hell out of me. Oh, oh whatever. No. Oh, and then there he is. Creepy ass Damien Anakin shows up mm -hmm. for her nightmare. Um, then she finds the dead robot, which is her brother's dead robot, in the trash compactor. Uh, and then I accidentally, because it was late last night when I got done with the con, uh, <laughs> double printed the thing. She kisses the head and misses it, becomes a little child, which is interesting because I thought they'd show her parents, was, which they didn't do, which would have been yeah. cool. That was her. That, that was her dad's too, though the droid. The droid was, yeah. No, her dad and her brother. Mm -hmm. And then we get, like, if Anakin looked like this in the movie, I think it would have been badder ass than what he looked like. He was whining yeah. and lost the high ground. Like he would have lost the high ground if he was looking like this, is all I'm saying. Well, yeah. he was his hair flowing. Mm -hmm. Also, is that like the first Sith Force ghost? Besides Darth, I guess we saw Darth Bane in Clone Wars. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be an actual Sith ghost, right? Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Then she runs into her little brother head to head and he turns into Darth Vader and says Vader triumphant, which is pretty cool. I thought that was cool. Mm -hmm. And she's choke, neck choking him with the fingers. Um, she wakes up, she runs through and then there's a vision of Vader in it. And we think Vader is somehow in Vader's castle. This is not Vader though. Even though they keep teasing it's Vader, this isn't Vader. Mm -hmm. Is it? No, not Vader. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got not one real more Vader at least. We got one more left in this, and we're going to see who's at the end of Vader's castle, which is probably just that creepy dude, and hopefully they throw him in the pit. But once again, I thought this was good. This is actually a good storyline, but we are fans of Scott, so mm -hmm. we're yeah. biased. All Next right. Left. Yep. Afra. we thought that this cover was cool because I could get signed. I had brought it for nobody to sign in particular, and guess what? Couldn't get signed. You want to know why? Because That's boss was cool, like. but they made it look worse. What the? F they filled in all that space that Pete and I were yeah. about with a bio. yeah, with a lot of text. So, which one would you rather have now? Now, guys, which one would you rather have? This the one, one with the text. Space? What? It, it no still way. looks better. Boo! No, way. Boo you. no shot. No, because yeah. now I feel like the one with the text. I feel like the cover got ripped off, and it's like this is That's true. Crazy. It does look like just a page or something. Which is supposed to be like a page out of a handbook, right? Is what it's supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the page of handbook, the info handbook. Well, that's looks that's Marvel's uh, new uh, variant covers because it did it with uh, yeah, a new way to waste that, people's yeah. money. Let's give them action yeah. figures. We'll give them this title card. Cover. We're gonna give exactly. them. Uh, what else can we do? Well, nothing. The the only cover looked good was the A cover this week, anyway. So there you go. We'll do some uh, diagnostics of their ships. Maybe we'll like do what? some geographical, topographical maps of some. What of I don't get is like, so when they list those in like previews, why the heck can't they tell you that that's what's there or like like the border of the Sprouse covers for the fifty? Because they know if, they, if somebody saw this, nobody would then order nobody this will buy it. Nobody order it. Yes, <laughs> nobody would order this bullshit if they knew what it looked like. Come on, dude. Uh, I mean, there'd be two people. There's one kid that I know for sure would have ordered. And that's the question. It's too the harsh problem, on my reviews. Why make it? If your problem is, is like nobody's going to order it if they see it, then don't make it. Eh, so. Fair enough. This is also a key book for to not have Jedi on because we know he complains after every time we see an appearance of our lady here, Death Sticks, that she never does anything besides be on one panel and say two words. She starts off that way. Then she's actually in a whole nother book where she, I don't know why she didn't cut out for space open, but she's pretty close. Uh, but Santa and you comes in. Oh, there was, did I show this? Yeah. Yeah. Lucky's over there. Cool. Mm -hmm. Come in and blow away the blasters. Remember this is girlfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend. If you think the star, <laughs> star Wars timeline is confusing, try to figure out Dr. Afra's relationships. Uh, yeah, that's a whole nother one. Get your Venn diagram ready. <laughs> yep. So here we go. She finds an artifact, which is cool because they're getting back to her actually finding and using artifacts, which I've said, you know, the last couple books that she has done, they really turned the corner in this arc, right? They brought it back to what made her great. And this is kind of the action part and the actual finding artifacts has kind of made her great. She grabs, what is this? The horn of whatever it was. Gondor. Gondor, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> she yes. ends up getting the power from the horde of the gondor and then this was cool man i mean the nosebleed kind of sucked but she looks badass there remember the remember early well, you gotta on have some damage you know it's a human body you gotta say yeah. yeah but remember early on in this run we were making fun of how bad they were drawing her 
And th- this, whatever, mm. whoever's doing this arc now, they've really started to do a good job. So she said, Hey, I was going to make her so we get more of the thing there. And then she does. She starts making, uh, making Death Sticks uh, stab herself, which is interesting. Mm. And Death Sticks has a sweet side crew, by the way. There are a bunch of badasses that are crew, walking huh? around with, like, except for then they stab themselves. That kind of sucked. Yeah, and she's going crazy. This thing's taking her over because it somehow is tech, but also magic. She said, Well, not magic. You know what I mean? The force. She did say magic, not me, but what? Either Star Wars way. magic. Yeah, and then Star they did this Wars back end uh, death sticks here where like, oh, is she alive or dead even though all her goons are dead? She's not dead. Um, I wish you had gone to de- death mirror though. Then we have the showdown boyfriend and ex-boyfriend versus uh, girlfriend and ex-husband and whatever. So there you go. Brother, tell each other. And also ex-girlfriend, and but now current girlfriend. and Yeah, yeah ex-girlfriend, but now current girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> they have a standoff of who's going to get the ships. Afro throws the bomb up and gets away. And as they get away, uh, she talks about how it was a tech piece, but like the force was part of it and blah, 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 blah. Either cooler part, they grabbed the necklace. And when she grabbed the necklace, she went in there and they actually showed this. I did not know this, that uh, Crimson Dawn or expected. I figured it would be in the back end of the Empire. If you read War of Bounty Hunters, which we'll cover, we'll see that. But they, Crimson Dawn now is even in the Republic. Like they are everywhere. They're mm-hmm. literally funding everything, which could be interesting. Well, I mean, I it could turn, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It could turn into that or it could turn into a Canto Bite situation. We'll just see how it plays out. <laughs> um, hopefully it's not the Canto Bite. So, oh, I didn't really have a are, are you back on reading this book? Yeah, you, dude, I am. Your issue goes, you were out of it. Well, no, yeah, three issues. Literally, they were listening because the issue I said, you come out with another, one more piece of crap issue. <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> I'm done. And the next issue, like I said, they start, they really yeah. turn the. Co- I, I think, I, they I think did, it's right? better now. It's better. It's, it's, it's better. Wait, I think it's be- I think this is one of the best. I almost wonder if I almost wonder if like the writers and the artists, like when they had to do those tie-in issues so closely, like that, where they were almost copying it. Like I almost yeah. wonder if they just weren't like, I don't, I'm not into this and I'm half-assed it. Mailing it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah maybe. This, I mean, this was def- I mean, this is a tied in to, to war, but at the same time, but it's still a story. A it's not like yeah. a repeat. It's like watching a repeat on TV or something before. I would now. say like, they're probably getting ready to plan out what they're going to do next. So now they have a little more yeah. leeway to. All right. I would say the Darth parts, Vader, the Afro Darth Vader, like um, where she like be- like she's trying to get out of his grasp arc and the father arc are probably uh, on par with this right now so far. If not, this is. This is as good, if not better, to be honest with you. Uh, I know that's a bold statement and somebody's going to boo me, but you booed me anyway. So who cares? So, um, but yeah, I thought, I mean, I don't know if you guys agree with that, but that's what I think. Yeah. Well, at least I miss, I miss James most, the most Wars, dark horse, star Wars. Star Wars. Most, I miss most of it. Not all of it. There's some things were terrible. <laughs> oh, and dark horse. There's a ton of yeah. stuff. That's terrible, yeah. but it's great. It's good. Terrible. Splinter too. of the mind's eye. Okay. So war of the bounty hunter. Um, no, I was talking about Afro when she, you know the arc that she had where she was trying to get away from Darth Vader? Like she knew Darth Vader was going to try to kill her. I always thought that was a good arc. And I also mm-hmm. thought the arc where she talks about her dad and does the backstory of the college was a good arc. So I just think that's on that part of an arc. All right. War of Bounty Hunters. Once again, the, the bubble book doesn't look like that. If I didn't pull up what it's supposed to look like, because <laughs> it's trash. You so all the text? No, that's all right. Uh, we get back in here. They're still trying to capture Han Solo. He's still on an em- uh, Emperor transport going towards um, a Star Destroyer. Interesting enough, in the background, you start hearing everybody get in for... Well, we didn't get that yet. So, uh, Jabba saying, don't think it's a good idea attacking that to our man, Buku, with the big R's, but he doesn't care. Um, Vader doesn't care about anything that's going on. He's just missing missing Luke Skywalker with shots <laughs> left and right all over the place. I, I don't understand why. Um, but he does threaten to choke somebody. Boba and Valance are best friends. Then, all of a sudden... Buku gets a call in on his like AT and T customer service headset. <laughs> okay, cool. I didn't know he was such a gamer. So he gets on there and he's talking on his gaming headset and gets a call in. At the end of it, hey, says, uh, "Don't knock the gaming headsets." I mean, no, no, no. no I mean, I got I game. Too, so, no, I just I thought it was, at first I was gonna make a gaming joke about it, but then I was like, "Well, no, those even look like like, like telecommunication headsets." So either way, at the end, the call gives him the information on how to get to the ship or whatever, but says. Uh, um, awake the dawn. So that was kind of interesting. And at the same point, uh, Leia, Lando, Chewie, and the rest of the Falcon gets the same thing. 
and it's by an imperial soldier. Now we know because we read Alpha first that they are that the Crimson Dawn is doing this as a wait the dawn there too. Like pretty much everybody got that message, so we knew what it was. Uh, Boba decides instead. Boba decides instead of um, trying to attack the Star Destroyer, just land on it. Then gets caught by a security droid. Valance saves him, and for saving him, Boba Fett throws a detonator right into Valance and blows <laughs> his up. Which was kind of interesting if you watched last week when we said, "Yep, he kills Valance," and we weren't talking about the book that we were looking at. We were talking about a different book, but either way, <laughs> um, everybody else comes on, starts fighting. They try to get Han back, except for Han blows out the window. They used every type of art that they used in all. Like they must have used the artist for every single tie-in book because the art kept changing throughout this. And did you guys notice that the art kept changing throughout the entire book? <laughs> Yeah, I hate yeah. when they hodgepodge things together mm-hmm. like that too. Yeah, um, but I will say the Boba Fett stuff was really well done. Boba somehow shoots it with his spear and wraps it around, which is not how that's supposed to work. But whatever, uh, and then ends up pulling him out of the water. In the meantime, Vader comes in, and it was all a setup with Buku, and just kills all the huts, uh, except for Jabba. Except of for one, yeah, <laughs> one that he said he was trying to kill. In the meantime, we get our girl, um, Han's ex girlfriend, mm. Q. Kira. What's her name again? Kira. Kira. Mm-hmm. Yep. And she tells about how they lost some people, how some people got blown uh, up, how balance. somebody stabbed them in the back, but it's okay, mm. how the huts are all dead, which I think they're all dead, but who knows if they are or not, but they're going to go into the future. We do see there, Death Sticks is not dead. I don't know if that's a miss up or uh, whatever, but she's still alive in the background. So I assume she went to Death Mirror and got healed by. All the witches that are nobody, dead over there. Nobody ever really dies in Star Wars. No. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So there we go. Did, did Valance look at, give the thumbs Star Wars up comics. when he died? Did he give the Terminator thumbs up as he was slowly passing? <laughs> look at his ears falling off. That's awesome. That, well, listen, that, that, last the, shot, that last shot's total setup, too, for Crimson Rain coming out soon. So yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, he, all the characters next, are there. The yep. girl next to uh, that Six is a girl from the new game, mobile game that's coming out. She's oh, really? characters in the mobile yeah. game, yeah. Sweet. That's the first appearance in comics. Awesome. There you hmm. go. Yeah. Look at that. We had another first appearance to this. Thank you, Dom. You're I like point it. What is this the first appearance of Mini Me Kylo Ren or Yeah, there's a couple of characters that have uh, no names to them. The mini guy yeah. right there, the guy with the horns back there. The guy with the horns um, and the hair, long mm-hmm. hair, yeah. The, uh, I don't actually the, think that's a Ren. I think that's the, a uh, the, twi- uh, the Twilight, Twilight right there. Yeah. Back there. These yeah, yeah. two characters up here are new. Uh, so yeah, so is this one over here? This one is not actually. Nope, she appeared someplace else. All right, so he's new. Oh, no. All right, and then the last page, real quickly, it's Boba telling Jabba, "You're an idiot, and you put a bounty on me." I actually think this would have made a cool. I don't know why they didn't do this as a cover. If you just did this, the the text bigger. If you get all this stuff off the bottom, just do a Boba Fett with this and erase. Well, it the was ball a really good. Se- well, me. Was it- look, second printing, maybe. Yeah, you can't second like, print this shit. This is overproduced. No, it would have been cool if they did it as a first print, though. You think yeah. they can't second print it, but they can. <laughs> they will. Oh, they can. They can. Yeah, yeah, they right. can. They Don't can. worry. We'll get the J.J. Abrams lens flare cover. <laughs> All right. Next week, we get the last part of Vader's ca- Ghost of Vader's Castle. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be the end. We get this, which is going to remember the story of this little frog dog thing from Jabba, which would be kind of fun. Frog dog? Well, it's a frog pet. I don't know what it is. It's like a swamp frog dog. Yeah. yeah. It's like a frog dog. Bro. Unlike the other pet that he has in the movie, it's a different pet. Well, we might Not see if there's another. Strong, we might see if the two rancors hang out with each other. But uh, the what, that these huh? books might go up in value for one particular reason. They're coming out with uh, the uh, monsters of uh, Star Wars for kids animated yeah. shorts on uh, Disney Plus or Disney, one of the Disney channels. And these, well, that. yeah, but last week we covered where his first is. It's not in this. It's actually in. Um, the Jedi, it's in the purple, the original run Marvel. Red, red, yeah, original one. Yeah. So, but he uh, will be coming until this guy, this little frog dog Mog, will be jumping slash running, hopping around all Java's passes. And uh, I'm looking at the back though. So the Rancor made the group photo in the back. They just well, that might be them. baby Rancor. That might not be so Biggie Rancor. Rancor. Put the Rancor in the back. You're, you're, you're <laughs> the tall. You stay in the back. Line. Uh, the, uh, the Rancor that Omega saved. Yak face. Why is Yak face even in there? I was just gonna say Yak face is back in there. Okay. All right, Jawa's down front. You hold the class sign so we know what yeah, year right. and class this is. And they just cap the face of the the sloth thing on the right too. Did you don't, see that? Don't cover. Uh, don't cover Slacious Crumb. Come yeah, on, yeah, Jawa. Scoot over a little bit. He's got a. Max right is what Max Repo's one eyed open. 
All right, that's enough of criticizing the art because it's probably not going to be the art we see on it. Then we got High Republic coming out next week. Uh, this is pretty good, actually. I think this is turning. Mm. Uh, what I read, it looked pretty dope. Yep. So there also is the Halloween. should like be coming this week. Huh? The, yeah, the B the covers. Dope as shit. Lorna D cover there? Yeah, Dorky. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, the Halloween is going to be a reprint of the one. And remember, you might not get them this week. They might come out the next week after that. But, I mean, yeah. shit, there's only one million copies of this cover. So what, what's up? There are another hundred thousand out there. We're going to get life day story. The story that uh, nobody FLC. actually wanted. So yeah. Why does Han yeah. Look like Razor Ramon? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> like I don't know what to say about that. I'm sorry. I'm tired. And I it's just right. I don't have anything positive to say about this. Oh, like I can see it. Yeah, this is just I can't spin it to be good. I guess solo yeah, Wookiees. I'm sure, I'm sure into life day. Right? Oh, <laughs> As a Wookiee, yeah. I'm glad that they're gonna touch on her a little bit. But uh, I can think about 900 other stories that we've rather seen. I'll accept it. I, you know, I'll give it a pass. It could be some good first appearances in it. Yeah. So yeah. this is so this is the day I after about life Lucas. day, dry cleaner day, because all these Wookiees got to get all their hairs taken out of their robes. I'm like gonna hold on to I'm gonna hold on to this for a little bit till we do our thing where we get uh Ruben on over the holidays and review the movies. Do you remember this, Mister? I'm stick for canon. Also forgot that Han shot first. So well, mm. it, I mean, this could help iron out some of that holiday special. This could. Frog dog. Maybe kind of make some of that holiday. There's special. no way you're no, no shot. Nope, we're not. Nope. All right, that's enough of that. I tried. This is by the way, we are going. What time is it? Because are is it 45 minutes? We are it speeding. Is. Oh dang it, we're behind. But we were speeding through it. Darth Vader FOC coming up too. Oh, that's cool. I actually like that cover. But it's the last one of the crossover, right? It, yes. This is the last oh, book in a crossover that Vader, they just yeah. finished. They just they just gave us the ending, and then they're gonna still whatever yeah, it's like art yeah but you didn't see the ending of vader's part of it exactly you mean when he killed all the huts oh that's a good point yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. good point good you didn't point. see all it right. play out we'll put it that way also temple peaks coming up on foc yep. last four? issue it's last four, yep. last issue and that's all okay. we got for you on comic reviews so there we go cool t John, John says life day was pushed back oh was Maybe it was i thought it was on foc this week but hey that is on uh yeah i did not do i'd sorry guys i didn't have the time to do the foc this week that was not on me. So, uh, T. Yep. Joe, what's going on? It was pushed back. Cool. Or was it pushed back to now? I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. Eh, no. either I liked the FOC earlier this week. It was still on there, I thought. But I'd rather see Death Day. Okay. What's next? <laughs> oh, it's no. um, what are we going to do? The uh, we got the graphs. We're going to do the graphs real quick. Oh, Let's do the first appearance with graphs yep. and, and the I'll two be fast. Friends. This is something we were going to do a little bit ago. Steve Horn, what's going on, brother? Uh, this is something we were going to do a little bit ago. He's been down to the lake, too. Dom, he's just like you. Everybody loves him when they come out here. All right, let's go. Yep. So real quick, we're just going to go over the graphs and the Santikas. Um, we're going to go over their first appearances and such. This is basically because Vader Castle, which involves the graphs a lot, is coming to an end. And also the Santikas are going to be kind of a high, prominent part of the High Republic storyline. So we'll just go over them real quick. Next. Uh, so real quick on the Graf family, y'all can look at this later. Uh, it goes back quite a ways. There are graphs involved, and we kind of went over it when we reviewed novels um, in the High Republic era, and then it skips a couple generations. Uh, the family finds themselves on the outs because they were basically criminals, more or less. And um, it comes to, you see Milo Graf and Lena Graf, which are those graphs you see in Vader's Castle Milo. series. And Emil Graf, who was big in the Star Wars adventures. So... Big characters, really, but not in the main part of Star Wars comics, I guess you could say. Hmm. But if you're an IDW reader, you've seen them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Uh, so real quick, Auric Graf is kind of like their father. Uh, you see a super small, small cameo of him with his back turned in Dex's diner uh, and an Obi-Wan story. Hand. Yep. yep. In the very first scene, you can tell it's him basically because they tell you that in the narration that the family's there with Lena. So that's his first appearance and only appearance in comics that you ever see him. And you don't ever see his face. So if you want to call it an appearance, that's what it is. Gotcha. Next. Uh, Lena also shows up right next to him on the seat. Um, oh, you. Again, you only know it's her because it tells you that it's her. Um, so if you want to call that a cameo, you can. Uh, it does exist. <laughs> no stuffy graph, huh? 
No. <laughs> we do know why we're covering way, this, right? Real quickly, we're covering this for two reasons. One, both of them have been predominant in the novels lately because of the hyperspace stuff. They also link over to High Republic, their families do. And because Scott originally had a lot of them in Vader's Castle and this and obviously Scott read Star Wars Adventures originally. So go ahead. Yep. Okay. They yep. even tie into the new trilogy too. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm bleeding. Uh, so Lena's actual first appearance is in Vader Tales from Vader's Castle, which was the first Vader's Castle series. Uh, she says, and she is only on the cover of the one in 100 Derek Charm variant. Uh, all the other covers, she was well, the convention covers uh, the black and white version of that, but yeah, yeah. So, wasn't she technically uh underneath a helmet at one point, too? On the go cover, ahead. no, no, oh, not on the cover. Go ahead, go. No, Sorry, no, yeah, so, yeah. no, but she shows up in there throughout the book, so. First, you can definitely call it first full. Um, okay. Milo Graff, her brother, you really don't see him in comics. Um, by the way, if you ever actually read the like the, I don't know if you call it children's series of Star Wars Adventures. Yeah. Like before there were the comics, they were both in there. The whole Graff family was. It was all about them. Um, mm. But so you see them in the Ghost of Vader's Castle, which is the current Vader's Castle run we just covered. Yeah. Um, so they just had a New York Comic Con variant. You can see far behind me there, and um, he shows up in there. That, as the brother. Did Scott Scott wrote that small book too, right? The grant, the one with the yep. Didn't he? Yep, he wrote the kids' books and he did the comic series. All yeah. the comic series. All the comic series. Yes, he did. Next. All right. Uh so Emil is the grandson dope. of my no? Huh? No, dope. He's a dope. Oh, he dope. is a dope. He's a dope, <laughs> not that it's dope. <laughs> yeah. But he is the grandson of um uh, Lena and or no grandson of Milo. I'm sorry, grandson Milo. of Milo. Let's <laughs> say, wait, Lena and Milo. It's yeah. Yeah. Not Lena and no, Milo. it was just confusing. Milo. It was yeah. no, no, it was confusing. No, yeah. that's true. Um, but yeah, just Milo. He's the grandson of Milo. I have no idea who the grandmother is. Anyways, um, he shows up throughout the Star Wars adventure series. He's kind of like the, I guess the channel which they kind of tell the story, the the human part of it. I guess mm, he's okay. an explorer like his generations before him of the Grath family. They did do kind of an interesting letter section where it was like him writing to the audience to say, hey, write me letters and tell me how you feel about the series and everything. I thought that was kind of neat. You don't see that in comics too much anymore. Or there's an honest letter section. Next. Uh, the Santicas are more or less... They're like the, the keepers of the hyperspace lanes uh, is the best way to think about it. More prominent in the High Republic. Uh, we see them a little bit in the Imperial era, which I'll get to in a minute. But um, they were pretty much the ones that would... They're wealthy like the Graphs, but they're more straight up. Um, there's no nefarious criminal action going on where they got stripped of all their wealth and influence or anything like that. It was that. because of the Graphs getting stripped that they took over. They were both kind of shady, yeah. to be honest with you. But yeah, I mean... Those who win write history, right? And these yeah. are the guys that won, so... yeah. What's going on, yeah, Chef? Best way to look at them was basically as like prospectors um, or cartographers, <laughs> where they basically map out all these hyperspace lanes, and they even owned like certain regions of space, so they could experiment with hyperspace at one point. So, yeah, yeah interesting, but interesting. Which is actually yeah. how the graph stuff. So, the lower Santeca. Uh, you actually see him as a corpse in the Force Awakens adaptation. That <laughs> 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 tells you that it's him. The dead guy is Lor Santeca. Um, the dead man. Yeah. But does anybody remember the actor's name? I can't remember. He's a famous actor, British actor. Now I don't remember. Is he dead too? Or oh. No. Just, no. Uh, I'm just Mac saying. Monsito? Yes. Thank you. Uh, he he's is in. Dead. He's in the movie, very much alive. So they just chose not to show him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, is he dead today? You don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, he's I don't dead. think so. But right. who knows? But he's in there. Uh, next. Uh, so he does show up in a first, a full appearance throughout the comic, and starting with Poe Dameron, number 20. He's actually in there for like 10 issues. So there's a pretty prominent role of, uh, it's kind of telling the story of how he got the map to Luke Skywalker, because he's the one that gave it to Poe hmm. for the whole Force Awakens and our lovely J.J. Abrams story. <laughs> to me, she's royalty. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Next. And this is the interesting one, because we haven't seen too much on it yet. But she's pretty influential, although she is technically dead uh, with the last novel they wrote. But yeah. uh, Mari Santeca, who is basically the one that is determining all the paths for the Eye of the Nile. Um, so basically, she tells Roe 
all the secrets of the hyperspace pass. Not necessarily willingly. She was basically kidnapped when she was a child. Is that right? Yes. She was. Yeah. yeah she was kidnapped. Well, so that's kind of shady too, because we don't know if the Santicas yeah. had something to do with it because of the jealousy yeah. of it. And they weren't supposed yeah. to get yeah. I guess you don't know exactly how she ends up with the Nile, but she's missing. I don't know Supposedly. if it's like a Charles Lindbergh. Missing, but nobody situation. was looking yeah. for her, though. Yeah. 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 Did they sell her off? Did they just... Yeah, right. yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. yeah, she ends up with the um, the Nihil and basically feeds them all the information. And that's how they're able to do stuff like the... Um, uh, what was the ship that they destroyed in hyperspace? Yeah. And I they can know. open oh, clothes. They do all the jumps. Yeah. 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 They do all the short jumps and stuff. I can't remember what it's called now. She's kind of like a Skywalker from the um, Thrawn trilogy. Pretty much is what she is. She can yep. do past. Cool. Next. All right. I think that's it. That's it. That's it. Perfect. That's it. Yeah, it All right. Good. What do we have next? Con, Con stuff. Good. John. Con. 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 So it was a crazy con. A lot of the dealers, I would say half the dealers were at New York too. And they were a little nervous. You could tell everybody was a little nervous because they were like, maybe New. Yeah, the pass. Mm-hmm. Hey, Brian, it, it didn't go. I don't think New York went quite as well as people had hoped. Uh, Dom was kind of right. Dom was in New York, too. Dom, what do you think of the difference between New York and Detroit? Well, the difference between New York and Detroit right off the bat, the energy, the energy and the excitement. People felt they weren't pressured to be there. They felt that it was just having fun and doing what they wanted to do. That's- and we had now we we do have a mask mandate. Uh, we don't so, have a car mandate, but we do have a mask mandate, and there actually were rules we have followed. The, the aisles were one and a half times bigger, so two and a half times what they were in 2019. Um, there wasn't as many comic book vendors as there has been in the past. Actually, there's a lot of big internet, like Reese's wasn't there, who usually comes. Big Ben, one of the biggest ones in the areas, weren't there. I was actually going to take Andy to Big Ben's, and we ran out of time because the con was so ridiculously hyped, and so much stuff was yep. selling there, too. Yes, it was. Well, we actually did interviews with dealers every single day, just to a couple different ones, because we got a lot of friends that are out there. And they would be honest with us and tell us what was selling, how it was selling. And we're going to show all that video on Renovision on Wednesday. But uh, there wasn't a dealer out there. If it, it, I'll say this. If you were a dealer and you didn't make money, and I mean a lot of money this weekend in Detroit, you should probably just have somebody buy you out. Because you're not doing what you should be doing. It's that simple. Because everybody was. I mean, it was guys a lot of town guys. I said this earlier. Their trucks were empty, and you're like, "What do you mean their trucks?" What the both of something like, what "Does that mean or like, their trucks were empty? Like there was nothing to set up on Sunday. There was holes in walls. There was just if you didn't want to sell, you didn't want to sell. And it wasn't like people. The, the books were priced from New York. Like it wasn't like they were lowering the price. Or it was ridiculous from eBay. It was priced at market, a lot of this stuff. And it wasn't. Now, did, they, did they sell a lot in New York, though? I, I, I heard that New York was, I mean, the numbers were definitely down in New York compared to normal. The dealer and... dealer sales in New York were good. That's what I heard. Look, look I, was gonna, I can tell you one thing. Mm. I think this con had a lot more bigger sales than New York City did. Yeah. The days I was there in New York City, it really wasn't as crazy. The dollar books, of course, all the uh, the back book, the dollar books, two dollar books, those sell sold like crazy. But the other books, the bigger books, they didn't sell like they were at this con. I was actually near dealer tables, and I was watching people buy bigger books that they weren't buying in New York City. And some like some of the dealers that were from New York City, they were there and they were selling there instead of uh, in New York City, but. It so was like the energy was just, it was much more, it was more fun. People I mean, we all were wearing masks, but you could tell people were hyped, dude. People, yeah, people were, were hyped. The cosplay was dope. I'm not a huge cosplay person, but I just realized like it was like people were coming to play. Everybody I talked to, I had, a, I have a friend, and I spent a lot of time working in his booth. He is, unfortunately, unfortunately, he hit one of his parents right before the con happened. They needed some extra help. So, you know, I'm always down to help people out. So I help a friend out and we were there. But even like that, like I couldn't even stay anywhere. Dom will tell you this and Andy will too later. Like they, I'd be like, I'll meet you here. And I'd get stopped 10, 20 times to either look at a book. And these aren't small books. I've seen some books that I've never seen before on that con floor. And people were chomping at the bit to sell them. 
and dealers weren't being forced to sell stuff. They were saying, you know what? We're going to hold on and do some more research on some of this stuff. I'm going to show you a video of something I saw too there. Um, this is a little share. This is actually from Brad's Comics. We talk about him a lot because he's he's actually a good friend. He's the guy that went and got the... the um, he's got the Air of the Empire, the five Air of the Empires for a dollar in the two newsstands. But uh, here we go. Let's share video file. No, no, I have it in here anyways. Here we go. It's a little yeah, rough right, cut. Right. I haven't been able to edit anything. Obviously, right, so if you, you guys know, know me Brad. at all, real quickly, the Pedialyte there, don't make fun of him for that. That's Pedialyte and Red Bull. The night before me and Don, we, we closed the bar down. So, you know, <laughs> hey. the next morning, I'm always... <laughs> Best way to recover. Pedialyte is excellent yeah. for hangovers. And that's it. If you see P- if you see a bottle of Pedialyte in my hand, you know what I've been doing the night before. So, <laughs> the night before we're back over here. Look at what Brad's got. So, this has been the talk already of the con this morning. Yeah. Uh, let's Everybody, try to get in there as I walked in the door, it didn't... Before I walked through the door, you, you see Brad yet? Go see what Brad bought. Go see what Brad got. Go see what Brad got. So here we go. Man, that is slick, dude. Man, so this man. is... How much you got in it? Are you just showing it off? You're just showing I'm, it off, aren't you? I'm toying with the price. No, you're showing <laughs> it off. Yeah, yeah, it off. yeah, this is one of those... Oh, my gosh. This is one of those... Uh, hey. just- he he was. It, he did make me an offer for a little bit. I actually talked to him the next day, which was today on the price. And my offer got rejected. Let's put it that way. Because <laughs> it might be because of some of the stuff I said later on. Uh, Politely an offer. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Politely. yeah. I, this I is, you, so this is a museum piece. He usually. All right. I call it a museum piece like because in dealer talk, that's like you're not trying to sell this. You're just trying to run a fucking museum here. So <laughs> I was telling him like. Why are you going to draw me? eyes? Well, because he did say good. make me an offer. And as soon as he did that, I was like, oh, you're just running. This is a fucking museum piece. So, it belongs uh, in a museum. What, what questions do you got, Solo? What are you? Okay. First off, how do you tell whether or not it was the mail away? It sells a this lot. Is it. The like mail away came, and you'll is... see right there. See that bag right there? That's the mail away bag. Inside this right. plastic right. container, because this t- container is not what it came in, it does come in that plastic bag. And now then you have it another... came in a little white box that was the plastic bag was in. Yeah, inside of it. And they came with right. two pieces of paper, yes. Which he had... The one piece of paper that told him that this was sorry for the delay. This was uh, the bubble fat because of the shooting thing we had to da 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 da. That piece of paper that was his thing. He didn't have the box. He did not have the box. However, um, that's something you gotta look for because the price differential between having the box and the paper. The box isn't the big deal, but you have to have the paperwork that's with this yep. too, even though you know it's in the bag. The other yep. portion is, and this is a very good portion. You asked me before, so how can you tell the difference? Well, if you open the bag, you can't. Like yeah. it's so, so it's still sealed in the bag. Yeah. Right. Unless it's still in that bag, you're host. Because mine is actually a mail yeah, that's away. That's how I got every one of my bounty hunters, my my forelom, my boss, my uh, my zuckus, my palpatines. They they were all mail aways with the little um, round uh, symbol on the back, the little um, r- r- round blue and white rebel symbols, and he mailed those in. And my God bless my mom. I love my mom to death. She was so animate about helping me cut those out and mail them in, right? And and getting the the, the orders in and, and the mail aways and stuff. So that's how I got most of mine. In fact, that's how I got all of mine. Um, so I know I have a first, but some of them. Now there was obviously the earlier one that had the rocket firing. Now the yeah. note you're speaking of that came with it is the after prototype because this was the first actual release and the note said yeah, that because of the it was delayed because of the prototype firing yet yeah, because it was a problem with the children they said it was a problem with the children it really wasn't a problem with the kids but they thought eventually it would be t jones this is what i'm going to say about new york and this is just from what i heard the dealer to dealer transaction was very good it was it was the dealer to dealer transaction and new york was very very good and that's what made the show. What so, they're asking about is actual sales on the floor. One of my other questions is that all of these have a stamp either on the bottom of the foot or on the bottom of the back leg on the on the calf, if I'm it's not a reprint mistaken. Leg. And I wondered, because I'm not sure, I'm going to have to do some deep digging now in the, in the mass quantities of books that I have. Did that ever specify any difference on the date of the release because that may be one of the ways that you tell the orders or mail away orders from the carded well can i uh say what go ahead yeah please jump in here 
All right, so the Boba Fett, when they sent the letter stating that the piece was a choking hazard, they delayed it. Only one caught it, uh, Boba Fett, with the Star Wars, it said Star Wars. Star Wars on it. Yeah. Star Wars on it. The Empire Strikes Back was the, uh, the actually the first caught it mm-hmm. figure that they had mm-hmm. in mass production. The, uh, the mail away that they gave in the back of the leg, it should say 1979, uh, I think Hong Kong. On the back because there's different ones there's taiwan there's yeah there's a whole mm-hmm. bunch of different uh types of uh variants that came out with the different uh stamps in the back but the one that came out that was issued in the mail away was the first release that came out with the rocket being glued into the back yeah there we because go. the original one that caught it version was the only one in existence and it's it's like a like a hundred thousand plus almost <laughs> it's almost five hundred thousand dollars now that I caught the uh, yeah. it was over but this one the mail away it's in a bag and it should have 1979 but there's this they had there's a few mail aways that's the thing mm-hmm. you had the yeah. 1979 yeah. mail away you had like one came out in 1983 then they had the mm-hmm. different ones at the papa team and all the about ba- yeah 84 so there's a few of them that could but be yeah the go ahead okay, okay. go ahead no, finish up. Finish up what you said. I'll say that could be the 1979 one that you would have to do research on it, but most likely it is. It is. It de- well, with the le- it depends. Yeah, I mean, you'd you'd have to fake the bag because on the bag it actually has it, and then on yeah. like the actual printing on the bag, and then you'd have to fake the letter too. That's why you kind of want it with the letter. Real quickly, I just want to address this Nick Jones question. Is he asking if the comic pack is the same as the actual uh, book? No, he's just saying he has two copies of it. I think. Oh, because the comic, yeah. pack, the comic pack is a reprint, copy. so everybody does know that it's like a way different. It's like yeah, years, but still a years. copy of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was asking if he's thinking it was apple to apple. Okay, it's not. Yeah, fair enough. Long day. Sorry about that. Thank you, <laughs> Nick. Good. All right, that's good stuff. So that's what he has. That's what he had it. Um, Definitely a museum piece for his wall. Yeah. Oh my god. Museum that's cool. for his wall. When'd you get it? Uh, just thirty days ago. He probably told me too much information. At one point, I think he goes here like, are we still taping? But we were in, I said, is everything okay? Can we show it? Hey, it's over on. Other footage. You see Giuseppe's took over, uh, Giuseppe's just bought. I love that Galactus bottom, right? That's the big deal with Giuseppe's. What were you selling? Anything you were selling in particular So I told him right there, like, you shouldn't even take offers. You should grade it, which was the mistake of things to say. Because today when I made an offer, he said, I'll pass. And it was, I mean, it was what I thought was decent and he didn't think it was, but we're, we're not, you know, like a lot of people came up today and they're like, I'm going to make you an offer. That's, that's going to offend you. Is that okay? And it's like, well, if you know, it's going to offend me, why would you make the fucking offer? But just make an <laughs> offer. I'm going to say yes or no. You know what I mean? And yeah, most of the time the guys that said that, I was like, yeah, you can go get fucked. I would, that's not like I, it's one guy came up and said it. There's two items. Both were priced at $50. We had sold a bunch of them all weekend long. They're our last two. No problem. Said, I'll make an offer that's offensive. And I thought it was going to be like $10 off of each one, which is not offensive, but pretty strong considering it's a popular item. And the guy went, the guy went, I'll give you 50 for both. And I was like, you're not any, you can keep making these offers, but the answers will be no for the rest. And, and at one point, the guy who owns the booth came over and goes, listen, you can have $2 off total. Don't ask me again. Bye. <laughs> So, like, you know, if you say that, like, I'm going to fed you, you're already getting the person ready to get defensive. But, uh, yeah, he's yeah, going to grade that. Well, I did he might, sell uh, a big, big boys. What was probably one of your better books that you sold? 181. Sold you guys hear that? He sold a 181. That was one of this first day. This is the second day. It opened uh, Friday. It was, it was a half day. Yeah, how much? 181. Uh, 2250. It was, uh, and it was missing a Marvel stamp too. It was purple label missing wow. a Marvel stamp. And it was still pretty expensive. And he sold it. And then he sold a. He got green label on that. that I talked over it, but a TMNT one third print. He also sold that for market. Uh, I got a. Uh, hmm. They took a non-story portion half page. And look what he started selling. You see this up here? Purple yeah, no Star Wars books. The universe yeah, I, know. <laughs> I know. I didn't. Yeah. Get, his Star Wars stuff. I got in another video. Cab scratch fever picture. I find it odd that he's got all those books, but he didn't have any Star Wars. He does. He did. Yeah. Oh, he, it's the same guy. Okay. Yeah, it's the same, the same guy. guy. He did have yeah. Star Wars book. Remember this after day one. And day one, me and Dom talked to a lot of people. They weren't 
he says, yeah, I'm always willing to work. And Brad is always willing to work. So I think a lot of people know him for that. But there's other dealers saying, like, people weren't asking. They didn't know him that well. So they weren't even giving deals. They were selling it just for whatever the price was. Green. It was a three. First appearance uh, vision. Five. Right there. Nice. Better at shooting stuff. Matt, Matt oh, Vermillion in the chat has a good question of what good cons are left. Uh, Baltimore is next week, right? Baltimore is next week. There's a Carolina yeah, con that I hear is going to be really good on the 9th. I might be attending that one. I, w- I think it's going to be interesting what's going to happen in Baltimore this year. I know a lot of these dealers are going up there, but a lot of these dealers had sold really good stuff, but they're going to be happy. So make sure right. like, and get them in their see, happy mood. So you all know CGC is not there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. wait. I don't. Who said CGC wasn't going to be there like six mm-hmm. months? Ago? CGC did. But oh. everybody else went. Oh, when everybody else is like, oh, they're CGC coming. said they weren't going to be there. They're not going to be there, guys. I talked to them. They're oh. not there, and they weren't. I still get right. people that think they're going to be there. They're not going to be there. So don't take no, your books there well, to get graded. They will. Like on site. They, they weren't here happen. either. They didn't, yeah, they weren't no. here. They they did your series with Donnie Cates, and that was they weren't here though. They weren't. They were still going. Are you going to Baltimore, Marco? No, 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 no. I'm not. It's not worth it. If for me. Two reasons. For me, one, I go to Baltimore when it used to be after New York because it was the end of the season and you could get really good deals on books. Number two, on-site grading is worth it for me because we yeah. submit the limit every single sure. time and we have to call the insurance company to bring back the, those books every single time because they're that expensive. So like for me, on-site grading is worth it. This year, there's mm-hmm. no on-site grading. I have just gone through a, a thing of what is this? This is week number six of multiple cons every week. And this one wasn't, I only went to one con for every day, but like I'm burnt out, bro. Like yeah. I, I don't know how these guys are going to make it and they got to reload now. This, they can't take, they don't have enough stock just to go there anymore. So sure. they're either going to be really tired and cranky at Baltimore okay. or it's going to be like, just get rid of the rest of the shit so we can. Yeah. 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 Tell him. That's cool. Are you selling a lot of like dollar books too? Or is it, I know a lot of people were just like, yeah. even in toys, a lot of toys were going like high toy. People asking for deals, particularly, or are they pretty much just buying straight up? Uh, I would say the majority are asking for a deal. Yeah, yeah. you're giving them, you're giving them yeah, stuff. Yeah. I'll always work yeah. with somebody as long as they're cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brad is one of the best people uh, we who works deals out of. Like, he really knows like what his percentage is, and he yeah. he's really good at it. So not even like I made a joke one time because I thought the guy was going to do it with a credit card because he's yeah, exactly. 35. It's a bill. He's looking at all the books. Like, like, yeah, five off. Like, ha ha ha. Eternal and I guess you can't yeah. pick that up on like because mass. You can't. That Eternal one. It's like that's a great deal. Here we go. Yeah, yeah it's Eternal one like, next to the like, uh, first game. I'm gonna laugh. Like, Somebody's like, I'll give you five dollars off of two hundred three. Yeah. And he was like, Nah, dude, good deal. Like, you took it. What's everybody asking for? Is there? It used to be fifty, but we would sit four people in the line, so we it's two hundred plus. Yeah. And you're not solving. And it was per submission, so it's two hundred. If you do like the first thing 200 in, and after that, probably submit another really? 50 or 60 bucks throughout really? the, the con. Glad I bought in on that one. That's nice. All right, I'm so cool. mad I didn't well, take advantage I'll check of all the time. Later on, what was it, you guys? What's your next like, show? Right before it shut down. I didn't know Traverse they were going to be there. Two weeks. There was a no line. Traverse City. So easy to get them. Oh, yeah, that Traverse City show. All right, man. Well, Michigan, when you, tell, you, when you price out that Bubba. There's also a late uh, series that's going at on. At least tell me the Lake price series. so I can not, not pay you for it and just Google at it again, all right? Uh, that's amazing. Congratulations. Buddy. Yeah. I, you'll see his booth the day before, too. And, yeah, that's my Skechers. I wear Skechers. I actually – this is something that a lot of people were asking, too, because the, the ground's kind of bad. But yes. I didn't know people didn't know this. But I – and Dom will attest this. I, I bring four pairs of shoes. And, like, I change out every – I change my shoes every couple hours so that – I don't hurt my, but I'm also old as shit. So like, <laughs> I mean, maybe if you're young, it's not that bad. But for me, I change my shoes out all the time. So I have four different pairs of shoes I wear and I'll change them out throughout what the con. The and stuff like that. Do? Hmm? What does the shoe change benefit? It helps. You? It helps. It does. It does. Because after, as now, after a couple of hours <laughs> on that floor, you feel like you're literally walking on rocks and concrete. Well, I guess, I guess so. Yeah. You got to bring uh, four pairs of underwear too, to swap out to fresh. <laughs> Are, are one of those I, pairs I'm your, old, uh, dude. I'm not your, a small cat either. I mean, like, look, I mean, when some of these guys are getting next to I look a little bit small, but I'm not that small of a cat, bro. Like, uh, you know what I mean? So, are these one muscles of those ain't, pairs these muscles ain't cheers. You think like if you had one really good pair of shoes, that would be equal to four pairs of shoes. <laughs> no, no, no. I wear, I got two Skechers, two Pumas, and then, uh, but they all got Nike Air. Like, all my Pumas got the Nike Air in it, so it's not bad. 
Hmm. Speaking of uh, speaking of Jordans, we got somebody coming in. Uh, some people call him the comic book <laughs> Jesus. We call him the Jordan of Arizona. Hey, uh, Zeus. What's going on, Brian? What's <laughs> up, guys? How you guys much. be? We were just what's covering up, some comics. So I guess if he's here, I know we're running late, but we're going to be coming up on a, we got to be cracking some packs. We're going to let you guys decide too, which one you want. We're only opening one. You guys are going to be able to decide. It, can we find the Boba Fett in, in one of these two? Because if we can, I think we're going to be okay. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. But yeah, I think the con overall, anytime dealers are telling me that they don't have outside state dealers or uh, state dealers are telling me there's nothing left in their trucks and they don't, and they've got open spaces. It's it's, it was a good con. And even though Brad did make some deals, most of those, like the story I was telling where the guy, he had, he had bought a fig for 260. It was price was 265. I jokingly went, yeah, sure. I'll give you a deal. 260. The guy's like, that's a great deal. And bought it in cash. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, this is the other thing. Every day, there was eight cash machines there, eight ATMs. You better have gone to the ATM in the first three hours, because they were empty after that for the rest. Oh, like of the, the little, the little mobile guys, like the little. Uh... Mm-hmm. Yep. Every single day, there wasn't any. Ca- there was no cash left in the building. Like, is it like a garage sale? Does anybody like walk up and ask you like what's in the box and it's your extra shoes? <laughs> no, I don't leave my shoes inside. <laughs> I don't, I don't leave them inside. I, I have, I always get. So <laughs> not going to test this because I guess you did too. Pair. Like, are you I'm talking about by, Motor like, City? You get everything taken care of. Like yeah, if you go with me, you, you don't go in the regular. We don't wait in lines. You don't wait in a line. You don't do anything. It's a whole different world. You come in through a different door. You have different parking situations. It's all, there's no root. Like this isn't like regular con stuff. You don't just. You know what you need to do to tie tie the laces together and like no, break like the other good, three pairs man. around your I'm neck. To and that way you're totally mobile. Regular people. Okay, I don't know how to do it for regular. Then when you're people, done with them, you just throw them up on the regular door. I don't know. Okay, enough sneaker, of it. Sneakerheads are walking up like, bro, I'll give you 150 Nobody for a signed no pair. Sneakerheads <laughs> buying Skechers, bro. <laughs> buying Skechers. They're not buying Skechers. Hey, those are the 2011 Skechers, man. I need those. Amen. Game worn. Con worn. I got a Marco signed pair of Skechers. That was think, that's something too, and Andy will talk about it. Like he did, I actually had a pen for him. Like the the people who want us to sign stuff. Oh, you saw him? Yeah, he's got. Well, look at Comic Man Andy. He's signing a. Um, I'm actually. You can't see me there, but I was ho- helping him by holding a, a brick so they could film it. Uh, yeah, it's people Shout are having Comic a Man Andy. Stuff. That was one of the coolest things I have ever seen in hmm. our content community group to okay. see him be on the news and then they say oh, yeah. youtube star and then they yeah, show yeah. an a, a, a little clip from one of his videos i was like oh man that i i'm super jealous of him but very very proud to see that i that think we're supposed cool. to shout out somebody i wish i you know what we are because the guy that helped him out with that is um oh, that was man. really really fun it was yeah, really really fun yeah it was, yeah, it was cool he's doing a better job than the anchor yeah, he was. He was. We yeah, hit him all lined up. It was really cool. He did a great job. And Andy's he a real did. nice guy. It was good to see him. Really good to meet him. Um, he's great with everybody. Actually, I kept telling him, like, I'm the worst because, like, I'm I got a bunch of things going on. So even when I introduce people, I'm like, yo, this is Dom. Yo, this is Andy. And Andy gives you a promo. Whenever Andy introduces you, Andy <laughs> shoots a promo for you. He's like, this guy here is from this, this, this. 80 things here. Greatest show. They're on at this time. They do that. like to everybody. He promos everybody. He's great. Hey, real uh, quick, um, Dom, shout out to you, bro. Your uh, con uh, updates and shit on IG, both <laughs> NYCC and Motor City, really, really good, dude. Continue yeah. that shit. Keep yeah. pumping out that that content, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, what else do we want to know from the uh, con? You is know, Marco, else? one of the greatest things about Comic Man Andy hmm. is dad jokes. They're all <laughs> over. He is a big uh, fan of dad I got jokes. One. I got I'm one for you. I'm just saying. I got it's, one for you. Suspended. What? Go ahead. Um, and you might have heard this one before. Um, where did Luke get his cybernetic hand? Where did he get his cybernetic hand? The second the hand. The second hand. Store. Store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you're supposed to let him say it, so all right, there yeah, we what go. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, why are you stealing doing my fucking my punchline, bro? Dom, were you there with the guy? Were you yeah, there when the guy came up to me and, and did that? Did the dad joke thing behind yeah, me? I think, yeah, 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 yeah. 
guys, it is, funny. it's funny. You guys are funny. You guys are funny. But coming up behind me, you guys keep coming up behind me and saying weird stuff. And this one guy comes behind me, he stands right next to me, and just does a dad joke. And I'm like, see the, you see the guy in the oh. Batman who laughs? Because that would have been perfect. No. Okay, oh. yeah. And that's it, too. Also, for you people that dress up in cosplay, don't come up to me and say, when I say, hey, man, that's a really cool costume. Don't be like, thanks, Marco. And then walk away. It worked, didn't like, it? Don't know who yeah. you are. That actually is pretty cool. That's pretty cool that they did that. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Did no, he act, re- did he have a mask on? Like oh, an actual no, yeah, mask? Yeah, yeah. I'll show you the pic. Yeah, I probably have it here. Hold like, yeah. You sure you weren't wearing like, like hi, my name is Marco, like name no, tag? <laughs> no, 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 no. I turned around. I said, what did you say? And he goes, I said, thank you, Marco. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? He goes, thank you. I said, are you saying something after thank you? He goes, Marco. And I go, you know who I am? He goes, ha, ha, ha. I go, who are you? Like that? He goes, I'm the Batman who laughs. And I was like, oh, fuck. And he walked away. Just straight walk. He's like, I'm not breaking character and for I you. And I started calling everybody. I was like, who is it? Who? So we had the whole con waiting for him to take off the mask so that we could figure out who he was. Wouldn't do it. Didn't break till the end. Didn't break till the end before he was leaving. Then he told me who he was. It was kind of cool. It, it was cool and creepy at the same time because it does get kind of creepy. Let me see if I got that. Let me see if I could share that picture because I know I put it in the uh, mm, chat. I did. Yeah, let me see if I can. Uh, how do I? That was a dope I can costume. get it if you want to fill with other stuff. Yeah, go ahead. You get it out of the chat and put it up there. The costume was really cool. Brian, it was creepy as hell. Um, so that was kind of cool. All of a sudden, everybody was great there. Uh, once again, and it was the con was ridiculous. It was it was really good. That's good news. So I hope everybody. I think the dealers, every dealer that we talked to that's going to Baltimore, did really well in Detroit. So hopefully they'll be really happy in the. You know what's funny? Um, listen, uh, if you guys uh, follow any of the stuff I do, you know synchronicity follows me everywhere I go. Um, and I literally just got done uh, two minutes before jumping on this show talking to um phil lee of vintage comics and toys about how great the energy was from you know them talking about nycc and how i really hope to hear from the guys who went to motor city comic con that that energy was there too and it well, continued. Don, don said don's been to both he said the energy compared to new york and detroit it was not even like detroit was crazy and it was like i we brian you know me you know I love to drink. I love to go out and entertain every single night. Last night, I couldn't even go out and drink. That's how tired I was because the con took the energy out of you because there was so much on the floor, man. It was That's so great. That's it great. Was so crazy. Everybody yeah, was happy. Yeah, there it is. That's <laughs> Guys walking around with a bloody That's crowbar good, saying, saying my good name. Hot, and I was like, wait, who are you? Like, yeah. No, he was... <laughs> This was taken on the flip phone, so you know the pictures wasn't the best. But yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's kind of, it is. He was cool. It was, and everybody was in a good mood. The dealers were, even Bill from Canton, uh, he was in a good mood. You know, it's a good con when he's in a good mood. So, is there anybody selling face masks? Oh, uh, probably. Yeah, I, I would. Just, I always well, wondered we, that. We, we had. You know what I mean, like if somebody was like selling like, like I'm surprised they don't like hand them out when you. You walk in, or at least offer oh, like, like, kind of like, you know, yeah, I, that would have been cool. I don't know. Nice there's a lot of oh. cosplayers. No, that's a good idea. There's a lot of cosplayers that had face masks that match their cosplay. Yeah. That's cool. Who was it? Was it Harley's or female girl jokers or whatever? I can't remember. There were some good ones out there, though. What? There were definitely some. Yeah, definitely was- check out Dom because Dom had him and his brother were all over the place. Oh, th- so this is what I was going to talk about. So we we ended up going in because he's like, oh. There's a little misunderstanding um, with a picture that was being taken in the signing area. So Don came over and I was like, oh, well, I'm going over there. We're going to see what's up. And uh, we so we decided to go into the SIG area with all the main celebrities. And I I usually don't go through those areas. But uh, what's the guy's name that played uh, Gideon? Oh, uh, Gene Gene Carlos. Carlos. Gene Carlos. Carlos. Yeah. So Gene Carlos is over there. And all of a sudden... Like the guy's coming out into the middle of the aisle and just like having a dog do a trick. He's taking shots. He was supposed to go on a pee break. He's like hanging out with everybody. He's supposed to be there signing stuff. Just was the greatest guy ever. These two guys oh, who had rain. those the, the helmets down there. He's like <laughs> signing them in uh, Grogu Green. He just he was all, all over the world, girl. Uh, great. And then Ming on the other side, she just was like knockout. And 
Dom's brother was supposed to get a picture with him. And did she just like stop everything? And was like, hey, come over here. Let's take a better picture. No, what, and what, happened, what happened was he was taking a picture of one of the actors and the uh, security came up to him and said, hey, I need that, uh, that picture. And he was like, I'm pressed. He goes, I don't care. So the guy got a little snappy my brother. So my brother's like, you know what? Let me go over to the uh, the press booth and talk to them. He talked to them. And I can honestly say yesterday, he took pictures of all the actors. He got to see everybody. And he actually got a picture today. He actually had a video of uh, a marriage proposal. Uh, yeah, he was, yeah, a lot of talk at that. That's so cool. He was, he, was the, he was the only press guy to go in. And I helped him out to a do video of this guy getting married. Elijah Wood was actually there to uh, present the ring. And that's cool. Frodo, it, it was crazy. And, uh, wow. That's so, cool. Shout out to Elijah Wood. That is dope. Yeah, that's dope, man. He was really like, cool. He was nervous. You had to see if he was sitting there nervous. Like, did, did he eyeball well, he had taken it and gone to Mount Doom? Taking the picture? <laughs> like, yeah. Happened? I'm allowed to do this. Oh, this is another thing. I'm handing over the ring. <laughs> so Obi, <laughs> so Obi the Gray, also who's like he's a fan of us, you know, he's a fan of the Dark Side crew. He was there, and, and guy, everybody sent me the text like, yes, you're right, Brian, you guys should do this too if you have to wear a mask at your thing. Okay, next time I'll take pictures of what I'm wearing with the mask on while I'm on the floor because yes, I understand it's hard. This wasn't something that Obi the Gray said, but somebody else had hit me up. A couple of people, yes, I understand. I look different when I'm on a floor with a mask on and like whatever shirt I'm wearing, it's easier to find me that way, apparently. But um, he went to those two and he, if you have, if you aren't following Obi the Gray on uh, IG, make sure you do, because he's been doing some really great art and they were so supportive. They were like, who did this? Cause this is awesome. Cause he did pictures of both of them and have them sign it. And they're like, you need to get back and doing more of this. Cause it's I really that great. So, those are dope. Yeah. Those are dope. They both complimented yeah. on them. Everybody was pretty cool. Meatloaf was there. He was cool. He was being meatloaf. <laughs> Dino said uh, he got uh, to see Joey Fat One there. Joey Fatone. <laughs> yeah. You, you is that to... what made his kid cry? Okay. <laughs> Look, I can actually be, uh, <laughs> laugh about that. He got out of a truck when we first pulled up uh, this morning. He had these crazy uh, flannel pajamas on that he came out of. And he was trying to act cool with these crazy. I'm like, I'm like who's this in <laughs> like that? My brother goes, oh, it's Joey Fatone. I said, oh, yeah, Joey Fatone. I'm like, yeah, he doesn't look badass with those. Uh, Flannel uh, pajamas. Who's Joey Fatone, by the way? He was just some fat guy that was hanging out. No, he didn't Joey have the Fatone line. Is actually, uh, <laughs> yeah. NSYNC. And sync. Yeah. I thought it was Backstreet Boys. All right. Yeah. No, back to Backstreet Boys. Totally. Yeah, Backstreet Boys. Yeah. Totally known from all his comic appearances and comic movies and everything. Oh, wait, no. He's not in any of that stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I had to help somebody out because there's also some guy. The Stranger Thing, the kid with no teeth was there. Man. That kid teenage girls Jersey. really love that dude. Yep. I mean, seriously. You could tell Dom, like I was, we were ushering people like, hey, oh, Stranger Things. Stranger Things is still the number one streaming show. That's well, I thought Squid Game took it down. I don't now, know. He had a huge line. His line. Did it? Oh, maybe he might have. To get autographs were huge. And uh, the same thing with uh, Jean Carlo and, and Ming. She, they had like the longest lines. Yeah, it was crazy. Floor, so. It was definitely crazy, dude. Um, yeah, it was a good time though. I mean, it was great energy. Big books were being bought. Big books were being sold. Small books were being bought, that small, like they wiped out. There was that one place, Bell's. They wiped out a whole table, man. Like a table, <laughs> they, like a whole area. It wasn't one table. It was like four tables together. They wiped out all the tables after the first day. So like, Shoot. like locus. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Uh, all right. So what do we have next? Are we? I know Brian's here because he wants to get another yeah. breaking. Are we doing? Well, breaking? I want to ask uh, about Go the ahead. break real quick. I got some questions. So is it series one? Or two or three? It's supposed to be. I think it's three, two. isn't it? So it's because no. it's the Empire. So it's not the the first series, like the Red. Yeah. No, no. It's Empire had had yeah, two, three series. Two had series. three series, three. I believe. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There was a series one of 132 and a series two of 132. And then there was a weird series three, I think. That's what I'm asked. That's why I have you on here to figure out. Here, 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 flash it up. I'll make you. I'll make you big. All right. This is why we're going at here. This is what I got. It's got this, and then it says this on the back. This is what I'm interested about. Fan yeah, club series on. pack. So this is what I'm trying to figure it out. Hold on. Let me look Fresh this up. So hey, there you uh, go. Right. Empire Star Wars club pops pack packs. Here, show us. Flip it to the other side. Okay. 
What is the what's, uh, header that, card? what's the card count? Uh, what does the, the header card look like? What does the header card mean? The very top, the yeah, yeah, that top thing. Okay, this so it's, like got, really it's got it's got C3 PO and R2. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. And then what does right below it look like? Then right below Vader. it. Like <laughs> Vader. Okay, C3 PO mm -hmm. and R2. So I was thinking like the next card because it looks like it has a checklist. Series two. Does it tell you on the checklist? Yeah, it looks like it's series two. That's series two. Wasn't the borders the borders on the cards different colors like? That was that color, and you had red. And you was had, like, Series yellow. One though? Wasn't Series One the Canadian one, the Ochis or whatever? No, OPG and Tops are they're series. They're the same. Same thing. Yeah, yeah series. same thing. Yeah, yeah. All right. So are we open. What are we looking for? Anything in this? Brian? So you're looking for any Boba Fett cards, um, and of course you're looking for the Slave oh. One card. You're okay. looking for the Duel of Fates card. Oh. Um, you're looking right, for some really cool uh, Ralph McQuarrie cards. Okay. And there are Yoda um, and there are two. I mean, there well, is we know a Yoda we got Lando on the Dagobah. one. On the left. Really I don't. Cool. I, I, there, he, Brian's gonna hate me because I, I wouldn't even open the Lando one. I'll be honest, man. Yeah, I wouldn't open Lando. the Lando one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, chat. Should we open the Lando one or should we not? Which one I'll are we right doing? Lando that's a Lando. Or... That's a Lando. Game Do the one with the I checklist think... on the front. That's gotta be good. Check... Inside. Yeah, I go with the checklist. Keep Lando. Keep Lando in. in, in All right, we're gonna give chat two minutes. You guys decide. Are we opening uh checklist or Lando? Checklist or Lando are your options. Checklist Orlando. You yeah, guys I think they're also you looking for that that Yoda rookie in that as well. Nice. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Lando, there, Yoda, Boba. Must there be like two checklists in the Yoda or in the Lando pack? I really hope you get a Dengar. Where are we going? Oh yeah, Dengar. I'd okay, what? Dengar. Throwing a Dengar. Okay, what are we looking for here, guys? Checklist, everybody. Checklist. I think we're doing Not a checklist, enough. right? Checklist. Yeah, we're also look at the right so Okay, we're doing I'm, open both. I'm with not Ronnie. opening both. Ronnie, Ronnie both. took the easy <laughs> both from both. <laughs> I'm with we're Ronnie. Not opening both. Open both. We're not. Here's why I wouldn't open the Lando because that Lando is uh, one of his obviously first cards, and it's showing the pack is worth more already right off the bat. Yeah, it's kind of fun. How much do you think one of those packs are worth there, Brian? 50, 50 to hundred dollars, maybe if you have the right seller, especially with that Lando. That's nowhere close to what I bought these. Yeah, I'm not Dude, surprised. he gives his kids like thousand dollar, yeah. hundred dollar cards, cards, not thousand dollar cards. Let's get out of here. You guys, <laughs> they gotta stop. They it's actually like love it. Five hundred dollar Pokemon cards. Sunday was kids. family day, and thank you for checklist. the people that came up and kind of checklist is tied with both. But if you're not doing both, you do a checklist. There was a couple people that came up and saw that I was with my family, and they respected the family time that I got on the floor. So I do appreciate that because they don't get to come out on the floors a lot. So when they did. Thank Before you, for... you open these, though, mm -hmm. can you um, tell me the card numbers on the backs uh, that are showing? Oh, I should have card numbers. See. It's the upper left corner on the back cards. And uh, let me know if any of those say 220. I uh, Oh, that's tiny, bro. All right. One, <laughs> okay, 159. Jesus, readers. No, 220 look at or 210 is what I'm looking 229? for. 229. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Two twenty nine, you said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Is this two twenty? Hold on. That's oh, why you need to have the lights on in the room. Two oh five. Yeah. Two oh five. Okay. Okay. Oh wait. Do you want me to check the other ones? Two oh five. Yes. <laughs> One fifty two. This is some movie shit. I don't even know what that says. I don't even have a number. There's something about looking, movie facts, Empire movie facts. Oh yeah, I'm looking for two twenties up to two seventies. Um, yeah, there's a two twenty nine in there. Two twenty nine, two twenty nines, no nothing. Two twenty six. Two twenty six is nothing. Okay, well then none of these have anything on it. Okay, okay. Good. All right. well, well, you don't know that yet till you open it. So for that land, okay. You just don't have the. Well, there's another guy that got about seven more of these, so. Uh... Kinda... There's also a Burger King set um, for the 80s Empire Strikes Back stuff uh, that uh, really hard to find, and they have, of course, similar cards. Burger King, huh? Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess I didn't prepare with scissors, so we're going to have to open it with this. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Be careful. All right, John Rambo. Let's see what we got there. Man, man loses finger live on YouTube. I can't watch. <laughs> All right. I feel like I should have gotten gloves to uh, no. All right, well, fair enough. All right, uh, sorry, you had Cheetos before we started filming, right? All right. Okay, so it's Stormtrooper takeover. Very cool. The There's a Yoda on Dagobah. That's a good one. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Mine. Ooh, oh, carbonite. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a really good one. Is it? All right. They're super off centered, as you guys can see from top to bottom. Yeah. So uh, that's yeah, not yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I nope. see that now. Really off centered. It's okay aren't though. They, aren't Keep they going. all that way though? No. Because I mean, they they're the... all pretty damn close, but that's the problem. But they have uh, the print on the bottom. Luke in no, trouble. They're not all that uh, off centered. Is usually. this like the whole storyline right here in a row? Well, are they number you you should be seeing the, the man numbers called Han Solo. Yeah, keep going. That's okay, pretty cool. That makes a difference. That's what Somebody you're looking lost for. Hand. Those, those single ones. That's the back device. Tank. Oh, that's them dropping him in. Yeah. Mm. He's Boba Fett's right there. You know that, right? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the Boba Fett cards. So any Boba Fett card, you pull him out. Okay, pull that one out. Okay, yeah, but you're looking for certain ones, and I'll tell you if you get them. Are Are we looking for raise the ships? That seems like a solid no. card. No. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Raise the roof. Oh, wait, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, Lobot. 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 I, should, I, I don't care. I'm just going to no. let you guys see them. So yeah. I can make it look fancy. That's a Ooh, Lando. That's a nice Lando. Lando. Yeah. Nice Lando. Yeah, nice Lando. Not, yeah. the, not the best one, but it's a nice one. Put them to the side. That's a terrible one. These cards seem nice. Random though. Imperial officers. Is here's, there Luke taking up, who's, here's Luke that's taking a pee with Yoda. That's a good one. Luke on Dagobah with Yoda. That's a good one. Oh, this is probably the best card in the batch. Medical droid. Oh, Those yeah. Are... There we go. Now we're talking. All right. So that's that. He was on the list of top 16 droids. So if we yeah, get a good, a, good, a, good, a good Boba Fett, are we giving it away tonight to uh, sure. to uh, a, a special uh, winner of Dark Side fandom? Are you, are you saying you want it? Is that what you're saying? No, <laughs> I'm saying are we giving it away? Hey, is that the rookie? That is a good one, though. Ooh, that is a very good that one. Keep that is one. not the rookie. Like, isn't he sitting yeah, full puppet, sit full body on the yeah, rookie? Yeah, yeah. I hate you, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Dangar! Nice. <laughs> there you go. I like it. Hoth movie reel. Another movie reel. Oh, looking yeah. for Slave that's One on here. Out. Slave One is, is available in this series, oh, which is a big that, card uh, right now. That's a nice Chewy. chewy. Here you go. Oh, nice Lando. Lando. There you go. Nice Lando. Oh, Han and Lando. Yeah, another yeah. Han and Lando. That, that, that Lando you just pulled was a nice one, man. It, the, this one back here, yeah, with him and Lobot in it. Yeah, yeah. The camera one. Yeah, the portrait style card. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Hold on, put that Lobot back up. Let me see the centering. Okay. I will that try one to looks, you... looks really good. Looks really nicely centered. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, that is nice. Very nice. Good. Very nice. All right. Oh, I just threw that into some water. Is that bad if you throw cards into water? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait, is he getting a medal? He doesn't get a medal. No, she's no, just that. scratching his neck. Scratching his neck. Yeah. Wookiees like that. Yes, really? Yeah, this is kind of interesting. Like they put this in the cards. Yeah. The director directing Luke. That's, That's pretty cool. cool. That, mm-hmm. Considering that was the best directed Star Wars movie by far. Yep. Uh. <sighs> Oh, oh, by the way, just to take Jedi that's, off. Uh, what why is it snow speeder in space? One. Yeah, why is that a snow speeder in space? <laughs> Star Wars. Uh, well, they oh. just took it like this. They were just on the ground looking up. That's a nice card. That's a cool yeah. looking card. It might looks nicely centered. Those uh, portrait cards like that are always do well. All right. I forgot this, I was, and I'm just. I was gonna make that joke, sticks boy, but I didn't want to. General Leia. <laughs> Dusty <Bigger's laughs> Which one? Yeah, that is true's plug. Oh, oh. Uh, Yo, I always get uncomfortable okay. when C three PO puts his hand on top of R 2s head, like he's gonna cut it. <laughs> we already got this he's twice. Put him in the center. Whatever. That to no, that's a nice. Uh, that's a different Death Star. Look at that R two. Oh, that R two's got to be a banger. Executioner. That would no, be no, a no, cool R two to get autographed. I that's Star Destroy. This is Executioner two. It's the same one. It's it's obvious. It's the, the Executioner. This is uh, this would be awesome to get on straight fire. Yeah, that's, that's, I would, that's, you know, it's a banger. There was something that was very interesting because I did go through a Star Wars booth and I just didn't have time. Maybe we'll go through it on next week's. Um, because somebody brought this up here about uh, the uh, Slave One on the original box of Slave One. Once again, people, you do know they say right under Slave One, Bubba Fett Starship. That's what it's called, like on the original <laughs> box of the original toy. Just to fill you back in again, I know Jedi's not here so he can have a heart attack, but I will say that that's always what it's been called. <laughs> so, unfortunately, yeah. I don't think uh, 
you know, this is this is series two. Mm-hmm. So series two, um, you know, doesn't I don't believe has the uh, rookie card of Boba Fett as they call it, but it does have a very good Boba Fett card. Cool. Yeah. Dang. Well, that stinks. I doesn't have the rookie, but still has got some good stuff. Yeah. Because I think Stick said we're there's Boba's in this too. By I'm the way, kind of hoping yeah. for an anything I know with card. Boba is a good card in Empire. If you get an I know card, I want it. What? Yeah, I love you. I know. Oh. Oh, so this is. For, I know. Yeah, that's a cutting open the. Wait, what? Is it? Oh, ha- I'm sorry. Yeah, Han. That's a nice Han. I hated Han Hoth. Really? Yeah. What? As a kid, as a kid, I hated it. Oh, oh Hoth yeah, was the best. Hate Hoth. Boring. Well, every time it snowed, I wanted to go outside and pretend it was Hoth. Another yeah, Luke. that's a good Luke. Hmm. I like that. <laughs> Like the rebel soldiers that built a trench in the snow for no reason because it's a space battle and apparently <laughs> <laughs> trench warfare is still a thing. Oh yeah, the Walker. Oh, he's going to go fight himself in Darth Vader. And we do have this. That guy's in the trench. Hey, yeah, is that, uh, uh, was uh, that uh, you get on Lobot? Was that Norm? That's it. What Luke? This is actually Luke. This you ever wonder Norm, Norm in the trench? Yeah, yeah. right there. Oh. oh, is it Luke? You ever wonder if Lobot's like jamming to some tunes on that thing? Yeah, right. <laughs> she in the background. He is. A, He's in the background. Someone needs to. That's edit, a big uh, card. That's a big a, card. A Beats yeah. B on Lobot's right on his ear. You know, from Beats head. We only got like two more. <laughs> like, what is that? Soul candy oh, or something. Soul, oh, oh the Hot Soul rescuing. Sorry, Hot Soul rescuing. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is just show him cutting the. Get, oh, the yeah, 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 one. Tauntaun. Tauntaun death scene. <laughs> Working against time. Okay. That's a terrible card. Oh, my oh Chewbacca's head in there. One card left. Uh, Banger. Um, Leia. Oh. Yeah, that's a good Leia card. All right. Well, that's what we got out of that pack. Isn't that the well, scene well, that Pete wanted, though? It's not no, the words. It's the scene. But it's, it's, the scene. <laughs> it's the scene, but it's not the, it's not the line. Uh, it is not the words, Nick. It is not the words. All right, so that's what we got. Out of that unfortunately, you got some Boba Fett cards. That's not bad, dude. You, you got, got I think, three Boba Fett cards. I'm gonna have to go back by because I didn't do it. This is some of them that I pulled aside, but I didn't pull them all down. And you pulled see. the Lando. Uh, I did this one, couple Landos. and then yeah. I did you got a really good one of the bounty hunters all standing behind Vader, right? I did, but I didn't pull that one out, so I'm gonna have to go back through and pull that one out. It's not that many cards, not bad. No, no, it wasn't bad. Nice. It's fun. Uh, That's, I, I see why you guys cool. like to do that. Stuff. It's yeah, kind of fun. you never know what you're going to By get. the way, we actually are going to have more uh, card breaking, I think, next week. Because, JJ, what do you have? Got me some 2018 Galaxy. Here, hold oh, on. I'm going to make that again. That hit well last that. time. What do you got there? There you go. Well, oh, Hobby Lux. Is there any That's autos it. in those? There are autos in there. Mm-hmm. There's one auto per box. So there'll be an auto in there. Mm-hmm. And they have refractor <laughs> inserts. So we'll do that. And we'll talk to JJ. Maybe we'll give some away as usual. And uh, I like the art on the Galaxy series. They're good that's art that's cards. That one. All right, not bad. That's cool. So that's what we got. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for coming. I know. I know you really enjoy the pack breaking. So I do. Figured. As a matter of fact, uh, here you go. This is one of the cards that you you would have been looking for, I believe. This oh, bit, but I think oh, wow. this might be series three. Um, this is a really cool Boba card, and then of course. I also like this uh, IG-88 from the same set. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. cool. Oh, there you go. I thought there was a Panoram 2 of them standing, but we'll see. All right. Oh, well, Either the way. Hunters. What's that? Yeah, the, the Panoram. Yeah. Pan- mm-hmm. Pan- yeah, it looks like what? Now, what series was that? The third one, right, Brian? So it yeah, looks that like was that the third g- one from like, I think that's like 240 and up or something like that. Oh, wait, sorry. 120. <laughs> it's like two. What's up, CY? 60 and up, I think. Something like that. Hi, is I might become. Um, so it looked like the border was almost a little bit different on that one. So it was gold. gold and not yellow. Mm-hmm. Ty fifty fifty of I'm coming to con in uh, Carolina on uh, November. I'll let you know. Uh, um, there is a sticker uh, that you also are looking for an all yellow sticker uh, with Boba Fett on it, where he's yeah. uh, just standing there in portrait size. Um, there's a quite a few, quite a, a few of the stickers for Boba Fett, and those stickers are always hard to come by because uh, everybody you know, used, used them. them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The stickers cool. Oh, that's yeah. definitely cool. Yeah. All right, 
Well, what do we have after cards? I know we move cards know. under. Want to do uh, bad fashion or cosplay? Yeah. So speaking of cons, let's do bad fashion cosplay. Oh wait, I gotta switch. I think I had the exclusives up next, but I can switch okay. it over. Give me you a second. Switch. Make sure. Well, I get guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, head out, and yeah. uh, I want to say thank you for having me on. I'd love to yeah. come on more often. So anytime uh, you yeah. guys got anything cool going on, let me know. And, we have cool uh, stuff going on every week, but yeah, uh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but not as cool as opening up fucking. Well, now uh, now you've been Empire on, Strike so... Back cards. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're not officially a, a dark side guy, aren't you? No, oh, if he's been on the show, he counts. Yeah, yeah. you're part really of what are talking about. Now. I helped create this show. Yeah, he was on the can. originally. I didn't know <laughs> Brian was the one that taught me how to turn the lights on. Yeah, he really did. <laughs> I didn't know how to turn the lights on. Brian's now, the now guy that helped me turn the lights on. Yeah. I do <laughs> want to say before I go though, um, if anybody out there that's watching is going to be in Baltimore, stop by, say hello, love to meet you in person, and uh, maybe buy you guys a drink if uh, you guys are going to be out. So, um, that go. being said, uh, thanks guys, and continue killing it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Cool, thanks yeah. a lot. Take it easy, All bud. Right. Take it easy, bro. See you, babe. Yep. All right, so there you go. Make sure that if you're in Baltimore, make sure you put it on the black card. Make sure they're buying you drinks. If they don't, text me. And I will uh, tell them to pay. We'll give them hell All for right. it. Yeah. So, well, I'll just give them the, their credit card number. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, Dude, I right? kind of want to go too, but I can't. I got the son's birthday next week. You so. know, I mean, open bar. They're paying for an open bar. Is that what I heard? No. Yeah, open bar, well, guys. That far from me. Like, Did you just hear that? Tails. <laughs> Tails. Not dark side. Dark side's not paying for a bar. Flip side <laughs> says they're paying for a bar. You see those guys over there? Uh, you you tell them that they're paying for an open bar. So yep. Um, yeah, I hope you guys all have fun out there. Cons are fun. Just like Enjoy just like that. JJ is not welcome back on the channel ever again. <laughs> <laughs> well, dark side. Do know dark side syndicated, so it'll still go no matter what. So you get both right. sides of it. Um, always a place on Renovision. Yeah, there's always a place on Renovision. Uh, anyways, that was nice. It was good to have Brian on. I know he wants to be on more often, but he's a busy man too. So here we go. We got Star Wars fashion show cosplay. I yep. got to say, Dom, I don't know about you, but I thought the – well, we had the 501st there. They came in smoking. They The 501st was killing it. Check out Don's IG because I know he's got yeah. tons of pictures of the 501st on there. Mm. But, like, just overall, the cosplay. Like, I kept saying, what's going on? And people were like, we've been locked up for 16 months, bro. <laughs> we're just working the cosplay. Oh, yeah. So, All right, what do we got, JJ? So, quick explainer. Uh, we're going to play it game, game style. And people can guess – for each number, whether I think it's a fashion show piece or a cosplay piece. Uh, All right. And so I had to pick and choose a little bit so it wasn't so obvious. So a lot of the cosplay is real good cosplay. And a lot of the fashion show stuff, while somewhat obvious, is just fun to watch <laughs> them fail at doing Star Wars fashion. Fun to see. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go through it. First one. All right, let's go. There we go. All right. So number one on the left, what do you think? Fashion show or cosplay? Yeah, that is that a Star Wars? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a mask. That's Hannibal yeah, Lecter's mask. I don't know why it, Hannibal oh, Lecter's mask, but that is at a Star Wars fashion show. Or, or fashion yeah. show. <laughs> yeah, right, the right, handle hit. Like, a dead giveaway. You got the. Pose. That's at celebration on the right. Yep. yep. That's like actually at a celebration. Which celebration is that from? Uh, I believe that one was 2015. When I looked it up, let me see. I have the I answer. Yeah. All right. Up next. Uh, okay, so next. All right, so number three. Dude, what the <laughs> fuck is number four? <laughs> well, don't worry. Skip the I'll get to number four. We're on number three. First. Number three, is, that's, a, that's a cosplay. No? Anybody else? Yep, it, it is cosplay. That is a yeah, cosplay yeah. contest at Celebration. Mm -hmm. And Anna. Yeah, Anna. She's pretty angry, though. <laughs> She's supposed to look old bristles yeah. Ray. So. I tried to choose. I tried to choose like people that weren't super smiley, mm -hmm. because all the fashion show yeah, pictures were nobody away. smiling. So it would give it away. So, it's <laughs> kind of hard to tell if he's smiling when he's got well, like a also mouth. Also, you got Bobby on your underoos and your yeah. belly button. So number four. Uh, this <laughs> is actually at a. Go ahead. Yeah, Bobby here has a face grill pacifier, so I don't know if he's. I wore that back in the eighties, man. That's an actual fashion line. They did it at a. Uh, this yeah, this is like straight up Mugatu. <laughs> <laughs> With the mouthpiece. The answer was so hot. It was Orlando. Right? Thank you. It was Orlando. It was Orlando. Oh, okay, it was Orlando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. 
Number four. Yeah, dude, four is amazing. Okay, Bobby, awesome. you can like sit down now. Just two on the arms, or is that just... No, come on. Next, next. This guy's arms. Are those swipes? Nike you swipes? You, you know it's Darth Vader in the movies like that? <laughs> okay, number five. Who doesn't want a BBA dress? Okay, now this is... this is No, that's actually... That's what's-her-name stuff. That's Ac, uh, Ashley uh, Eckstein's... It is Ashley it's Eckstein's first. fashion line. Yep. Well, yes. who killed Queen Amidala? Because somebody snapped her goddamn <laughs> neck. <laughs> No, dude. Ask Dom about Queen. Dude, there was an eight oh. foot tall Queen Amidala at uh, Archon. Mm. Oh, what do you, what do you think on number six? Like, is that dude, right? What? Fashion show or cosplay? Fashion show or cosplay for number six? That's that, that's kind of fashion show. I mean, I know the other one's actually fine. That is that is it is it is a bit of a trick question on that one. That is actually a fashion show, but it's a fashion show of the dress designers that did the costumes for Phantom Menace. Okay. <coughs> oh, nice. Oh. I thought it was a crossover with the ring because the way <laughs> her head is tilted. Dom, how tall out. was how tall was that? Uh, that Pat? She was woman, that that, she, that guy. Oh, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but I think he was six five. Or yeah, he was like six five. Taller. Which guy? He was definitely he was definitely taller than Big Legs. I'll tell he you that was. much. And he was. He's yeah, Padme. Uh, Padme. And he was, he was Padme. nice. Padme. He was, <laughs> huh? Padme, yeah, whatever. I mean, he was nice. Everybody's <laughs> taking pictures with him, too. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't think everybody knew that, that it was a dude they're taking pictures with, but it was because I, I felt bad because I, I turned to Dom. I was like, what do I, I mean? I'm trying to be nice. I just, what do I, do? I, said, I was like, all right, bro, thanks. And I was like, dang, that was a dude, right? Like, not, and then I shouldn't have said, I don't know. I don't know what. I should have said bro, but well. Yeah, but I say bro to everybody, so. She didn't correct me, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, see? Oh, he was there? Towering. Just yep. all, every you know, bit of. 6'5", like Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. I had to look up, I was like, the, holy the, shit. The I was like, oh, oh, I was looking up, and I was like, damn, bro. And no, when I first uh, spotted him, I was like this. Padme, turns around. Can I take a picture? Click. Yeah, sorry, I'm not moving to the next one. I'm just no, looking at the he, actual he posed. Yeah, yeah, model. it was good. He, he did a great job. I mean, he was on point. All right, what's up next? Next, number seven. That's a strip club with Stan Lee, right? <laughs> oh, she was in, he's in a strip club, that's right? Stuff. That's Stan he's in a strip club, right? Oh, I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. That's a professional model. Yeah, I can't remember point. her name. She was like on Big Brother or something or Celebrity. It's like Survivor, or I don't remember who. That's it. How that's you're not fraud like, with Stan Lee? I know. Okay, who she yeah, is. If I you're at some little contest name. show, it's, it's Adrienne Curry. She's a professional yeah. model. And she wasn't she with one of the Brady's? Yep. See, she I had some crappy about. reality show where she was yeah, married to. Him. So that's not that's she's cosplay. And eight. That is correct. Yes. That is. I remember that is cosplay. Sparkly, I She's a cosplayer, and she would go every every San Diego Comic Con. She would go. I don't know if she still does it, but she would go dressed up as a different character. And obviously, well, Slave Lady. This was one happy for some of his life. Yeah. All that's right. <laughs> and I had to include that's the Stanley picture yeah. because that's that's he's got his hand in his pocket for some reason. Yeah. But I don't know. I would have a smile on my face too. All At right. least he kept the hand in frame. I mean, dude, exactly. the cod. The other hand on the frame because it's in his pocket. Well, this is the most inappropriate. <laughs> we're past good. I'm glad we're past time. We right. might be only on Renovision if somebody <laughs> saw this. Look at the stormtrooper yeah. sparkling cod piece. Let's go. Next I do. One. Yes, I sparkling sparkling stormtrooper. Anybody? Anybody guess on that one? That's that's that actually a fashion show, right? That's, that's gotta be show. a fashion show. Feels fashion show. No, solo oh, looking's right. That's cosplay. Really? That is cosplay. That's a yep. lot of work for cosplay. Yep. All right. You Somebody do know we're not going to. If you're putting bold. perverted stuff in the chat, we're not putting uh, your comments on screen. I'm just going <laughs> to say that right now. <laughs> you don't say it. You just read it. Yeah. Okay. Up next. I could have put other pictures that were in there, but they're much more not safe for work than even that one was. So. Uh, Ted uh, is in. That's in the McCormick Center, yep. which was at a celebration. Yep. And nine yep. is at also celebration. And that is. Well, you can buy some uh, Boba Fett backpacks. I see. That is a backpacks. weird stormtrooper yep. J- yeah. Japanese outfit. I don't really know why. But is that Orlando or is that Anaheim? It's, it's one Force Awakens. Story. I just had down Celebration. I didn't put down the yeah. location. A- Orlando, Anaheim. It was Anaheim, right? Yep. Yeah. But All sweet right. Darth Talon cosplay. Yeah. Yeah. No, she was in, in person, real dope. All right. What's next? See, Marco's using his personal knowledge in this game. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> That's not fair. 
All right, number eleven, <laughs> the Death Star. <laughs> I like how you trim the picture, but you don't see the bottom, so she could be a BB-8 character. Yeah. Well, you know. What is around. the one on the? What's twelve supposed to be? Twelve. Avery, twelve oh, is. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you, twelve is yeah. Kira. Yeah, Kira. Kira from the Solo movie. Really? I thought it was just yeah. resting. I just thought it was RB. I, I, th- I thought that was like my husband. No. My husband dragged me to this. Well, again, I tried face. to find not smiley pictures. So. <laughs> Resting B face is just over yeah. on there on the right. Like, so, so what about Eleven? Is it fashion show or cosplay? That's a fashion show. No, 11. no, no, no. That's got it's. It, is that a cosplay contest? Cosplay contest. Nope, Dom's right. It's fashion show. Uh, really? Yep. Man, Europe. fashion people are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Number twelve. Fashion show or cosplay. You, you you see that look on the right from number twelve, like when you stay at your friend's house too long, when their wife comes out, like you you got to go home now. Yeah, the, you it's four o'clock in the morning. The kids are about to wake up. Go your home. Your friend's got to go. You guys are too loud. Go yeah. home. Oh, I just bought a new toy. That's the preview of Agatha Harkness. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. It was Agatha all along. If you bought a new toy, it's like another one. Yeah. It was. It was. Way, Dom, Dom, Dom's yeah. wife's a sweetheart too. By the way, he's got. He, hey, he, he, he definitely. Uh, he married up. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, so did I. He met my wife and say, hey, hey, hey listen, I ain't lying. Out of your what weight thing, class. Look, all I know is, all I know is that with her, I would have been down and out without her. I can tell you, yeah. she's, she's she's a good, good woman. She's a good one. Cool. All right, what do we got here? Thirteen and fourteen. What the fuck? Thirteen. Ahsoka. Come on, that's some bullshit. Because that ha- that's at Motor City. You can't be doing that at Motor City, bro. <laughs> you talking about fourteen? Yes. Yeah. That's clearly a fashion. Show. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, come that's on. Clearly, clearly fashion. fashion show for Cobra Commander Vader. <laughs> Isn't that Motor <laughs> City? That's Motor, Motor City, dude. Uh, I think that was a Motor City. Yeah. Yeah. It's Skeletor Vader too. That's crazy. Yep. Uh, so that is cosplay. What about thirteen? Anybody got any guesses? That on Ahsoka. Cosplay, cosplay, pretty damn it good cosplay. cosplay. Like Very good man. cosplay, but it is really it's good cosplay. cosplay. That is yeah. like on point, nicely done. Mm-hmm. Or yeah. a lot of these were kind up. of the the big dollar cosplay contests. They have a celebration and stuff for what these were. Yeah, yeah. I actually see something like this opening up on uh, Pornhub, the uh, the Star Wars porn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there is one. <laughs> Jesus. Hopefully, you don't accidentally right, pull next any from that. Right, do we have any more? That's it. That's the end. Right, 14 right. was the last one. Did you see Skeletor opening up on Pornhub, huh? Fashion all right, anyways. Cosplay or Star Wars parody porn? Those there are the a, next show. No, there was a lot of people. That'll be the next, po- next segment. <laughs> there was the a lot one. of people that were Power Ranger Star Wars. Yep. Like, Power yeah, Star there's Wars. a lot of, there's a whole like Star Wars cosplay crossover category like i could have gone with a lot more of but yeah i didn't include those didn't that. two guys i, was like, I, right, I like that are, uh... i like the cobra commander skeletor guys <laughs> that, i mean we saw the fr- was it friday or saturday i can't remember but it was like one of the days there was a ton of crossover star wars stuff so yeah. well i had one right. on the the market fails the first week was the it was the hello kitty darth vader Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that's a the crossover right. cosplay. I don't know. We might crossover. keep up. We might keep up marketing fails after this week, but it was kind of a. We had a kind of full was, agenda, kind of we'll a joke more, for yeah. a while that we yeah. a running joke we've had going on. So maybe, maybe not next week. Maybe this is the end. But next up is trivia. No, not trivia. It, <laughs> Exclusives because I actually really have to take piss, and then we'll do it. Then we'll do trivia. Who wants to play trivia this week? Well, I got to run it. I did it last week. So. Dom, Dom's, Dom's here. He will, he will play trivia this week. Uh, let's get exclusive. JJ, you good to do exclusives, or do you want yep. to trivia? Let's we'll run it. All right, he's got it. Exclusives. All right, I got it. I got it. Right. We're ready to roll. Exclusives. Here we are. All right, so this is the gallery of exclusive covers, not a comic retailer edition. So this will be all from retailers that don't generally sell comics. I twist a little bit with books a million and stuff, but. Yeah, so yeah, yeah well, that's different. It's not like a an LCS. the primary yeah. business is not comics. So yeah, exactly. that's what I went with. All right, All right. first one. Let's get into it. Uh, so these were the comic packs, and these were, I believe, exclusive. I put them down as exclusives because they're theoretically a Hasbro release, and they were obviously sold in toy stores, not comic shops. But the um, the in Valor theory. story there, yeah, there you go. 
But the Valor story there you get was only available as an FCBD cover. So it had the horrible trade dress and was a flip book. And then the Visionaries is, is a comic, but it was only a, it was part of a story from a trade paperback. So, and I think this was an SCD, S, a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Yeah, I think I think you're right. Yeah, both of these were release? tough because yeah. the one on the left was from one of the late printing. I think one of the Walmart ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe it was. It, it was one of the tough ones. And then yes, I think the other one was a con exclusive. Yeah. The, the Visionaries yeah. one. So, yeah, you ever see these in a toy pack? For, yeah, if you ever see either one of these. For cheap, you can buy them because they're both yeah. You find pricey. you can sometimes find these comic pack books just in you know cheap boxes because mm-hmm. people don't take care of them. They're just kind of banged yep. up, beat up. I have never seen a copy of that Visionaries yep. like live in hand. No, yeah. me because the, the Visionaries cover was totally different. This was that cover there was used, but it was used on a trade paperback for Tales. So mm. yeah, so interesting. Definitely yeah, cool. I've never seen it. Yep. Uh, next up, we have, I believe that was Bam Power variant. Strut Invader? Yeah, Power Strut Invader. Looks like he's on a runway from our last segment. There's a Books a Million Cos- variant. Cosplay or fashion? <laughs> yeah, cosplay or fashion. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a, yeah. <laughs> so, a but that was the Books a Million variant. Also available in black and white. Um, I tried to skip on the right there the that were like RRP variants, but it did include this one because it was actually at Toy Fair. It wasn't at a comic. Say, those are toys, aren't they? Yeah. So it was a Hasbro previews exclusive at a Toy Fair. So but yeah, so yeah New York Toy Fair limited mm-hmm. on the on the little uh, box in case you can't read it. So and there's gonna be a lot of these for Star Wars One, and you'll see a lot of them for Vader Down because they had a ton of exclusives for both those, but both. It's still fun to go through them. But again, the point of this segment is not to tell you to go out and buy these comics. Or any of that stuff. That's why I actually took out print run part one because it was hard to find, and two, that's not the point. It's more so you can yeah. see unique covers, and if you like that cover, maybe you'll find it somewhere. But, yeah, you can yeah. go look for it. If you want it, go yep. go ahead and go get it. Yep. I'm not telling you to go get it, but if you like it, do what you want. Exactly. So, uh, next up, Star Wars number one. This was a the EMP Museum variant. So this was sold at a pop. It's basically a pop culture museum that's in seattle and if i remember right i think the museum's since been renamed but um yeah but still a pop culture museum i like they still got that emp little logo on there so yeah then if they did at first i thought it was yeah at first i thought it was like a movie poster but it's actually it's not it looks like it is definitely interesting part two so yeah yeah the one on the right uh is actually so that's a hot topic exclusive for star wars one and it gets some traction as rare um, because basically it was recalled. Uh, I don't know though. I couldn't really find out how many are out there first off and you couldn't find out whether or not it was recalled to pulp. So I don't know if anybody here or in the chat knows that, but um, there's yeah. still a lot out there. Like if you look at it on eBay, it's not that hard to find. So, but you'll usually see it listed as rare. So, yeah. Next rare. Yeah. <laughs> Quote unquote rare. Well done. Uh, yep. Next is a Loot Crate oh. variant. So Loot Crate did declare bankruptcy. I think they still exist as like one-time purchase boxes for like certain things, but I don't know that they do their subscription thing anymore. Um, but this one did come out in I did it for a little while. Yeah, some fun stuff in there. So but a nice Han Chewie cover. And then uh, next up is, I think that's an Amanda Connor cover for Princess Leia number one. Uh, that was a Book yeah, Civilian variant. I think so. Yeah. I think I see your signature on the collar here. Mm-hmm. I don't down, uh, down, down in here. I think I got a different color cover than that start. Did I get that one? I can't remember. Which the man, that one's also in a black and white. So you may have a black and white. Oh, then the loot crate. There's yeah, loot crates there's... for other ones too. Yeah, yeah. Loot crate did a couple of. I got, I got several of them. And... Yep. All right, moving on. Next trading up, card. Uh, yeah, so this one was the trading card tops cover, and I couldn't. I know it was sold at San Diego Comic Con as an exclusive. I couldn't figure out whether or not it was tops that was selling them. Or someone else, <laughs> so I don't even have to go from there. But it's an interesting Lando trading card cover. Yeah, so. I've not seen that one. Yeah, actually, yeah, we one. did. Marco I just pulled it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Art probably has copied off one of those cards. Probably uh, this one you may have seen on Pete's Chasing Ghost segment at one point uh, on the right there, the Doctor Afra yeah. Neff box variant. Uh, uh, so that was a clothing company uh, that specialized in hats, beanies, hats, and stuff. Yeah, so, I was saying snowboarding or something because I wasn't yeah, sure what I was doing. But, it. Yeah, 
So they uh, put out a certain number of those boxes and really hard to find. Um, you see them listed, they'll be in the triple digits for sure if yeah, the person knows really what they're selling. So super tough. And it's David Nakayama, which yep. I'm a fan of. Yep. Yeah, I dig his art. Uh, next up, uh, Han Solo number one. This one was via the Scholastic Book Club or Reading Smirk. Club, as they called it. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's Bocelli, if I remember right. I should have written down the artist better. But is this sure ugliest uh, yeah, exclusive covers that we're doing this week? Which one is it? <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tough, bro. Speaking of ugly cover, no. <laughs> the C3PO special number one. Uh, that one I kind of cheated on. It's an Entertainment Earth exclusive. Um, I do know they sell comics, I think, but it's still. Do they? Do they? I think they do. No, they Mostly do more toys. I buy toys from them all the time. Yeah. But, Definitely yeah. toys. I yeah. buy tons of toys. They pre-order stuff all the time. Maybe I think it's <laughs> it, it's uh, Tifa I'm thinking of. Yeah. It, it stuff shows up like eight months later that I completely forgot about. <laughs> oh yeah, I did buy one of these. I guess. Yeah, the but they give you the the release date, and then it's like six months later after yeah, the supposed release date. Entertainment Earth. Entertainment Earth is good for like you don't they don't take your money out right away, which is great. Yeah. So you can order something and. You just have to wait till the pre-order comes in, and then they charge you, which is good. Yeah, yeah. then they charge you. But then it's uh, an unexpected charge eight months yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. damn, well, I that about that. <laughs> Funny enough, that's the only Entertainment Earth exclusive Star Wars comic, which, oddly enough, they chose the C-3PO special. C-3PO. That's what you <laughs> said. Way to roll with that one. <laughs> Next, uh, this was the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund, um, which... It was a good car. I think it's a Dotson. Yeah, it does look like Dotson. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. That's yeah. for Vader Down number one. We're in the Vader Down section, so there's going to be like four slides of Vader Down, just so you all know. <laughs> yeah, that's Dotson. <laughs> I see the signature down. It's Dotson. Okay. Uh, next up, that's a C. Ohm cover on the right. Oh, yeah. uh, that was a Nerd Block subscription, um, right? which Nerd Block now out of business. So, can't get, <laughs> can't get those anymore, but there's still plenty of them out there. You can find all those pretty cheap. All these Vader down ones are actually oh, fairly Vader inexpensive. Um, if, you, if you like it, you can probably find it out there. Uh, next up, so the one cool. on the left, that's Disney Parks exclusive variant. Yeah, that's dope. That's yep. cool. The one on the right is the El Capitan Theater exclusive. One of the El Capitan Theater exclusives. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. that Just so everybody knows, El Capitan Theater is the theater that like Disney owns, and they hold a lot of their premieres and stuff like that in so it's in Hollywood, obviously. So. Oh, really? I was gonna say yep. was it was like Austin or something. Nope, nope. Owned by Disney. Interesting. El Capitan. El Capitan. Next up is the other El Capitan theater one on the left. So they had two. They had an A and a B. Um, and then this one on the right is interesting in that obviously it's the same cover in black and white, which I tried to exclude those. Um, you can ignore the nerd block note. I forgot to change that. But it was only available at the Gear Deli. Prior, uh, yeah, as a Gear Deli candy <laughs> shop at Disneyland. <laughs> really? Yeah. Or was it Disneyland, or maybe it was the theater? I don't remember which, but it was basically the Gear Deli the shop Disney owned by Disney Studio Store on the logo above the Gear Deli. Does it? Okay, so it's yeah. probably the one in the theater, but yeah. And Either which way, like you can only get that supposedly at the Gear Deli shop. That was actually a pretty rare one. It's tough to find. There's a couple copies yeah, I, I know it's on eBay. Said, yeah, it's a studio store here. Yeah, yeah and that's Todd, Todd Nock's uh, signature there. Yep. Cool. Next. Uh, so, yeah, actually, a more. fairly cool. Holy yeah. Vader down. That's a lot yep. of Vader downs. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of yep. Vader down number one. Yeah, there. there's, there's even more. Than that. Yeah. So, Vader down number one. Yeah, the Hot Topic uh, exclusive on the left. And <laughs> looking good. And then you got another loot crate. On the right, so that I might be what one solo was thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, so he deflects one. one shot, but then his Just one. ship gets shot right above his head. Yeah. You missed one. Probably there, Garth. <laughs> yep. He's shooting at the same time, though, so it's tough. Well, okay. I know, but he's got the force. <laughs> last, last Vader Down exclusive I listed. Uh, this one was another Scholastic Reading Club one. So, you know, they're actually fairly plentiful out there, but interesting cover you don't see too often. Hmm. So. I would think those scholastics would be uh, hard to find, especially in high grade, because scholastic is that whole uh, order through the school kind of 
mm -hmm. pump the books and man those kids are rough yeah. on books so i'm yeah. pretty sure and i'm not exactly sure how they were sent out like i don't know if it was like you just go in to order this book or if it's like part because it's part of the reading club so i don't know if it's like a reward for something I, I don't i couldn't figure exactly how it was distributed but. penguin yeah, plus, like, the kids at that age, like, them wanting to be into Star Wars, like, sure, my son wanted to have a lightsaber fight, like, in the house today, but he doesn't want to read this stuff, because, you know, it's just not really yeah. his deal. He don't want to read comics. Mm -hmm. It's yep. not there yet. Uh, so, Shattered M Oh, just a real quick answer, Nick James' question of Loot Crate and Nerblock. They Both Loot Crate and Nerblock went out before the COVID stuff. Yeah, before. Yep. I thought I hit that up, but... Yeah. Like I said, Loot Crate oh, is still yeah. kind of around, but, yeah. Um, yeah, those things are expen more expensive for what you got. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Shattered Empire number one. Uh, that was the Books a Million. Yeah, Dotson. And it's Books a Million or Second and Charles, if that's in your same thing, but same chain. And again, that one's also available higher. in black and white. So I don't know. I'm kind of interested in the black and white one of that because you don't see a black and white Dotson too much. So Books a Million, Second and Charles aren't the same thing. They're not the same store? They're not the same chain? No, book. No, the same chain, different store. Books a Million is like um, Barnes and Nobles, and Second and Charles is like a discount, like a rebuy mm. and resell place. Look at this mm. guy. He has all his bookstores. I don't have either one near me. So. Oh, all I got is Barnes and Nobles. Yeah. 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 Barnes yeah. and Nobles. Yeah. They don't have these. And, yeah. Not my Actually, Books a Million. Books a Million. Uh, new, new stands back in the day. But, the yeah, Books a Million was like one of the last places that actually sold new stands. Where yep. Actually, Second and Charles never did. They sold direct copies. Still do, actually, to this day. Yep. All right, sorry. That, nobody needs to know that, but whatever. <laughs> Good information either way. Uh, yeah. So next up, you had a Funko. Uh, yeah. yeah, this was a previews exclusive. For I Funko. thought it was cool. just Stewie Griffin pretend, you know, cosplaying, you know. Uh, <laughs> it does like look that. a bit like Stewie Griffin. <laughs> hey, I like that. Is it Definitely. cheap? I might buy yeah, it. Yeah, it's cheap. Oh, it's out cool. there. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. There. I might buy it. All the people who said that Cat and Phasma series. Yeah, yeah, I can't pass my series. Now, this next one is crazy to me. Is it, it so the Rogue One adaptation number one? This was the Walmart pack variant, mm. which is expensive for some reason, it's even though it's just a movie poster. But I guess because it's rare, yeah. But if you didn't Walmart, buy it when it came out, like, I didn't yeah, Walmart packs are not that rare, so I, I don't know. But the but this was early is. on, this was early on Walmart, yeah, that's so true. If you didn't buy it, you meant like again, I didn't buy it, I missed it so. Yeah, yeah. Walmart cool. packs aren't overprint packs. Some of they are. The extra stuff, but like the covers yeah. that they put on them, mm -hmm. you got to figure they only print so many, and then mm. yeah. All right, fair enough. Go. Uh, next up, this was a uh, Star Wars Allegiance number one on the left. That was a uh, exclusive to a Target box. Huh. So there was a Target m mystery box or whatever that had, I think, four things in it, um, like a piece of clothing, a, a comic. Um, I don't remember the other things, but anyways, they had a, a black yeah. series figure. It's yeah. not the kids. No, really. it, it's not it the kids. Black. It's a. I think the black Jedi. series figure was also a snowtrooper. I think wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah. Interesting. It, it, Sacred Jedi. It's not the kids. It's adult men thinking they're going to make a million dollars off of eBay, opening up every pack. Or if, or if you go to like the <laughs> the one Walmart that's near me, they're all already like they open them in the aisle and take them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just fucking leave the rest there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like that's just ridiculous. It's not. It's not kids, though. It's definitely not yeah, kids. No, it would make no sense because the barcode's on the package. <laughs> you rip it out, like yep. The barcode for the comic books not scanned, and there's just... no, no, no. What they so what they do is they open up as many packages as they can, and they take all the ones they the want, band. and yeah, and they take them out all the other books into one package. They put all the books they want on one and one barcode, and then they go and scan it. They like mm -hmm. switch around the things. Shakespeare. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think you're giving them a little bit too much respect calling them kids at Shady. all. I think they're lower than kids, you know. I mean, it's, so. and children. <laughs> uh, okay. 75 exclusive. number 75 was an eBay exclusive of the final issue. So I don't know, maybe oh, something to look cool. Look at in the door. Yeah, nice ensemble cast cover. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Except I so a couple like more. Those. Yeah, we're back to the Walmart packs. High Republic number one. Um, obviously, has all the High Republic first appearances in it. Uh, and High Republic number three, which I still say looks like an NWA album cover. But. It does. It does. <laughs> I agree. Totally does. Yeah. Or holes. Or the cover for or holes. holes. Yeah, it does look TV a bit like holes. Straight yeah. out of Coruscant. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, 
All right, up next. So last just in, yep, last one. Just included a couple as a bonus. Um, if, so this Darth Vader special number one, I actually figured out, I found out about it like six months or so ago. Uh, you mm-hmm. guys helped me with it in the chat, but apparently it's a special edition of the first two issues of Vader yeah. one, uh, and it was always sold at five below, at least originally. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. They also did one for Star Wars number one, I think. Yeah, they did. It's true. True. And then on the right, you probably see these floating around very often, but it's really tough to find them in good condition. Yeah, uh, there the was a whole mini series. Yeah, there was a whole mini series of these mini comics. Ooh, huh? Yeah, so and they were available as a one through four series, all linked in a story. But they were basically Toys R Us exclusives back in the day. Hmm. I don't know these, but I like mini comics. I like grabbing them when I see them. Mm-hmm. Dude, at the con, there was somebody dressed as Jeff, Jeffrey, and there's a handler. It actually, it was a Toys R Us employee. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I didn't know if you had that. Saying, like, bring back Toys R Us or something. And then yep. they had they had somebody who had, like, she had the full Toys R Us, like, garb, worker garb shit going on, dude. It was funny. <laughs> now, five Below was sold separately. Oh, okay. Not in packs, to my, his knowledge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was just, like, an individual book. Just a comic, know, okay. Five bucks for the... They have them in the reader, the spinner rack type thing behind there. Yep. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Spinner Rex. No, no, it's next to the spinner. They have the uh, like, Cal 5 below setup. All right. Uh, that was it. You were are scattered everywhere. You know, you're not missing anything stuff, great yet, now. but it's starting to get better, Nick. It really is. It's starting to get better. So we'll see. Hopefully, yep. it turns the corner here. All right. Uh, was that it? That was exclusives. And now, so now exclusive. you can get excited. And we have oh, it. So, I'm all excited, buddy. Solo versus Dom. Here we go. Oh, wait. We'll put you guys at the bottom then, I guess. There's no versus. We're here for fun. So, <laughs> everybody, go oh, ahead. Wait, we go in the guy. corner. Grab anyways. your gal. Go ahead and grab your pal. I gotta Come on the, over. Come on down because we're two. dropping the new science and we're kicking the new knowledge to see if okay. Dom Tober need, can new, get the <laughs> Star Wars College of Knowledge. <laughs> We got to work on the intro. We're working on the intro again. Was that the same intro as last week? Intro. Same intro. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. it's been the intro, same intro. No, you I need think. like something short and then something very loud and then, hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. We're just fucking going. All right. <laughs> this is interesting. You ready, Dom? Ready. Okay. Now, wait, time out. Everybody knows he gets two saves. Yes. He could either go to the panel. Which this is what you do. You see what I write down, and you don't listen to what I say like I did last week. But and then you can go <laughs> to the chat. All right, let me get my piece of paper. You got this. I think, I think this, got this. this will help the oh, chat well, catch up with this first uh, question. Volumes. They can read it, and we'll hear it. Yep. All right, let's go. Go ahead. Read. Who's reading? I am reading. I think you're solo. Yes. Good solo. What is the largest creature seen in the first six movies? A. The Sarlacc. B, Space Slug. C, Crate Dragon. B, final answer. All righty. Give the answer, Pete. B, ah, C, job. Space Correct, Slug. Sir. Good mm-hmm. go on that one. Go. Next. How many kilometers is the first Death Star? A, 120. B, 1200 C 12,000. <laughs> hey, nobody uses metric, bitch. We won the war. <laughs> That's circumference or like straight across? Yeah, yeah, I don't know how you like. This is a trick question. What is all, are all the are all the questions in this thing based on measurements? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the biggest I, and... sheep. The thing is, I remember you have two. You have do have two. two. Two things. You either yeah, Nick, Nick Jones, Nick Jones, where are you from? Nick Jones, where you... you can use the the uh, the guys or the chat. Right, I'm gonna go with you guys. I know this, but I just can't get it because my mathematical skills right now. But realize when you say you're gonna go with these guys, you're going with just Marco and JJ because I've seen the answer, so I can't help you. And okay. Solo wrote the question, so he can't yeah. help you. All right, guys. What do you think? I'm, I'm debating right now. I, I want know. to know where Nick J- Nick James is located. Is he overseas or is he here? This is what I, I want. I think C would be too big. Yeah, I agree. That's what she said. I agree with that. I mean, because that's freak- <laughs> that's like the size of like freaking I don't know the sun or some nonsense. But that's uh. the, the, ah, that that you gotta remember. 
The Death, the Death Star, Star is supposed to be like a moon, right? It is mm-hmm. the size of a moon. So, I think it's 120 also. I think it's A, right? You think it's 120? I, I, mm. I got to say, 120 seems small, though. Yeah. I yeah, gotta go B. Then, I gotta go B. I'm going B. Well, they, well. Also, think about. It. I know kilometers might throw you off, but yeah, how many kilometers is like a mile? Smaller than a mile. It's only a little smaller than a mile. Really? So I thought like a mile there. was like two kilometers. Is that not right? Or roughly? I'm going. Sorry, hey, you think it's like two hundred Scotland, bro? Hey, a seems like the size of a state. A, Scotland. A. Hey, right. hey, you want to know why? Because what? metrics. That's why. Metrics. You know why? Yeah, where's it? Who said I'm they were? Go Nick's in Scotland. What does Nick Nick James it's say? It's Dom's call. It's up to I'm him. A. I'm gonna go, I'm go with A. I'm gonna go with B. Yeah. You know no. why? Wait, oh, you go with B. Comes, Wait, he said B. Comes, before the answer comes up, I'm just thinking because the Death Star is the size of a moon, like they're saying, mm. and it's small in the sun because the sun is definitely bigger than the moon. Mm. So I gotta go with B. But this I, is the problem with it. This is why. Because he didn't say the full circumference, he just might have said like, "What's what's crossing it?" We don't know. This is a trick. Well, it's got to be. Uh, sir. Yeah, he didn't actually tell us what we're measuring here. I, I know. <laughs> so is it 120 kilometers square? Well, is it the radius? The radius cubed? Yeah, I'm thinking if we're uh, cubing this, it, it can't be 1,200. Because if you cube uh, it, that's like the planet. I mean, then we're talking huge. The size. That's what my map. mind is going. Okay, he guessed B. Let him go. Yeah, is it? He guessed B. Right? And the answer the, is the, 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 that's the guess. The guess the is, B. is this well, is the worst question of all time. Incorrect. Oh, hey, that seems so small. I was at dinner with you. I said, just go with the sheet. Go with the sheet. <laughs> What you know what? Go with the sheet. I I I I I don't. I can't save you guys. All right, up it's all right. The same thing happened to JJ. That that was a tough question. Let me look up how big the moon is because that seems small. No, I think it's squared. I think that's why I was saying because I I think at first I was like, oh wait. So what was that actually measuring? Solo is it measuring the the circumference of the whole thing? Wait, this question because I wrote it exactly how the question was written. Out of the trivial pursuit. That's no right. Word. And it, the it literally the way it I think they were trying to describe it is from one side to the other. Uh. Oh, okay. Because hmm. it never says There's no so way 120. No, 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 no. The moon is side. bigger than 120 kilometers from one side to the other. That's Earth what I'm saying. Moon? It's small. That's small. But I guess that's why it's no Earth moon. Moon. Yeah, 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 moon. Yeah, it's diameter. Yeah, moon. Yeah, it's yeah. It's got to be squared. It's got to be the diameter. Yeah. So the, All right. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's not your fault. Hey, I'm telling you, that's not. No, that's it's not all right. True. I got a mulligan last week, so we'll go. The well, question: yeah. the scoring restarts. So if you get this Damn next one right, you'll go back to get a point again. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Wait, I forgot to count how many points. So he's up one point. So now he's back down to. He's only at one point. All right. Yes, Who, one. Pull- yeah. Who pulls R two D two away after he plugs into a power socket by mistake? A Chewbacca. B Han Solo. C Princess Leia. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Well, you can't you can go to the chat. I know. Well, sorry, sorry. Left. I hope you didn't hear what I said. Yeah. I'm not gonna go with the uh, the chat yet. I know this answer. I yeah. just need a second to uh, remember the uh, picture in my head. Mm-hmm. Yes. There you go. All right. Minus 75 miles. <laughs> you know what? A, because it wasn't Han Solo. I know Princess Leia didn't do it. I know Chewie was right there, you know, next to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, C-3PO, and he pulled him away. I think it was Chewie. Chewie. Is Chewy. your final oh, answer. Final answer. <laughs> I think it's Chewy. Beep, beep, beep. Correct. Oh, hey, good hey. 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 I'm got it. He's got nice. it. Nice. Wasn't Chewy in the ATS? Where are we talking about? Was it in the armor part? Where are we talking no. about? No, no, yeah. that's not in Jedi. That's in. Um, he got hit in Jedi too. He's uh, trying to open the shot. glass faster doors. He got shot. In, yeah. Got is shot. that what we were talking about? No. No, no, no. no. This was. No. Uh, that was there's one when he sticks into the power socket, and that I believe is in Empire. Yeah, I think it might have been Empire. And he gets all well, shot. Talking to both of them. One was to open up the door. The other Chewy one okay. has to pull all right. it up. Oh, I get, all right, good job. He's up. So he's to two points. 
All right. All right. Next what would think a droid would know question. the difference? Like, it wouldn't necessarily need to be pulled away. So that's two points. Dom's got two. Question four. Yeah, Leia, Leia pulls him when he gets shot. Who's known as Echo 7 while on Hoth patrol? A, Luke Skywalker. B, Zev Sen Seneska. And C, Han Solo. I feel like this is a trick question. Uh, yeah, Luke has been out in the snow. And I know Han and, uh, is uh, talking to, uh, I believe, Zev. When, uh, I'll yeah, see you in Luke. hell. I'll see you in hell. Yep. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not Luke. I know it's not Luke. It is. I should know this. I've seen Fate Empire about a hundred times or more. So, oh, you... God. It's not Luke. You sure it's not Luke? I crossed it off. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, uh... I, that's, that's, I said not do. All right. Uh, go ahead. So, uh, is it Zev or is it Solo? <laughs> Piece of resident Regis Philbin here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know what? It's B. I, I'm just having fun. I just refresh. B. You went with B. Final I answer. B. I want B. B. Final answer. You want to go on your own. You don't want to use the chat. You only have hey, two I questions went with left. C. Let's see what he says. You want to see? I'm going B. All right. What was Dom's answer? B. B. He said B. Okay. Okay. B. B. The answer is. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's that's right. a hard. That's a hard question. He's, 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 some hard he's calling back to the base, and he says, "You know, I've found them. Repeat, I've found them." Yeah. Echo, whatever. So, yeah. What he? Yes, 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 yes. I know it wasn't. Hey. I know it wasn't. Hey, Luke, to be fair, you gave Solo shit for the friends question. Uh, give yeah. me a, a, a French question. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Chats All right, kill me. last one. Next and last question. Last question. Hmm. Plus, it's what, harder when you're in a hot seat, I think. What winged creature's frightened cry did Ben Burt document as take a horse whinny at half speed and mix it with itself in reverse? A, what? my knock. <laughs> B, a wah. Or C, Brush bat. Hey, you're my knock. Sing it. He didn't even use that answer. Not correct. There you yeah, go. My knock. There you go. Good job, Dom. Those were some yeah. tough questions. Yeah, it was the breaks. The, it's the breaks. So you didn't get to stack scores because you yeah. got quite right. But you, you got the same amount right. You just didn't get the stacking of the scores. Or you got one more than that. All right. Good job, though. That was good. tough, though. It was tough. Well, I think that, that, it was tougher that, than last week. A tougher. The, yeah, it was tougher than last week. And the Death Star one, I think, is – I think maybe we need to start reviewing. We, yeah. we need to exactly – Maybe we need to review these questions. Review. You're not cheating, Marco. <laughs> not cheating. Well, you don't tell me the answer, answer, but – I was the one who got the answer right. I'm just telling you, like, because yeah. I thought about it as diameter instead of like the thing. But that's I'm gonna look. Well, I'm gonna look that up now. I'm gonna see if that's right. That's part of why I toss that in there, and that's straight out of Trivial Pursuit, guys. It, it, that's it's part, part, of, that. that's part of the reason because it is it is kind of tricky for I mean for me especially. Yeah, it's not radius. I, radius is center okay. out. It's I can't thing. I can't do metric system. And, and but you, see? you start tossing that in there, and I I lose it, man. I'm like, what? See, I, I was always bad with math in school, which. Was uh, that, but I got by mathematics, yeah. not my uh, number one forte. But those were some really tough questions. I, it, it was, oh, it was. you know, the other part of that question, which thank Death you, Star? Completed or uncompleted? <laughs> All right, yeah, no, it was still yeah. just the diameter. I had to look it up. That, it's yeah. the diameter. So I said, uh, I couldn't remember, and I didn't know if you were saying it or not. See, the questions that are hard. Oh, are you ones questioned that are me. I got the question right, and then you questioned if I was right, if I was getting the question. I didn't hear it. Was, it was telling me it's 160. Them. See, the questions that are hard are the ones that are outside the Star Wars uh, regular trivia that are outside that the making of Star Wars, because people wouldn't know that. 
you know, if you watch the documentaries yeah. on the making of Star Wars, you would know the outside stuff yeah. in the. Uh, Question didn't say that. He solo said it during the thing. Yeah. 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 Dr. Well, Dre Solo trying to be up. tricky with the Brett Burt. Like, what are you talking about the sound <laughs> guy for? All right, let's <laughs> not confuse no people. No more sitcoms and no more math. All right, let's. let's... <laughs> no, I say you I'll keep just, sitcoms. You keep the I'll math. I like them both. Easy questions there. No, right, I isn't uh, that mentioned? Look, I got hit with a curveball. I swung yeah. and missed twice, which is uh, hey. No, if you good. watch the I tape, you good. Dom, if you watch the tape, I do say go with my answer because they're talking about the bench. Like I know, I know. All right, that's two for two, you guys. Yeah, All right, right there. All yeah. right, uh, what else do we got? Well, one of these weeks solo, you're gonna have to send it to Marco so I can I can uh, take part because I can do that. I can't can I can't take that. part when I know the answer. All right, um, it would be a little bit easier if you asked like how big the opening was <laughs> don't worry we got we've already got a whole setup for solo he's not gonna be excluded from doing this so. um, don't, don't worry well don't we worry I'll come, the, I'll come with the questions for that one it's all right about, it's not about how many just remember right. it's just about remember how much putting, fun you have just remember you put a sitcom question and a math question is remember that just there was a trick that. question that first one too because that's not really wedge i know fake wedge yeah i know <laughs> yeah, fake wedge, wedge. <laughs> all right. Um, what else do you have? Anything? No, I think we're all done. We got all our segments done. Five people. Where are we going to talk wrestling? No, that's on the Wednesday show. <laughs> all right. Hey, show up to Red. Do you want to talk Wednesday, wrestling? Because I got some things to say. No. If you're not, if you're not uh, sub, make sure you're subbed over there. Make sure you hit the Wednesday so the tax show. We're gonna have a ton of con information. We actually did a lot of interviews with people. They gave it from dealers. They're gonna give you the inside chat. Some were very nice and gave us numbers on what stuff was selling for. Other ones were very, we're not going to give you the, I mean, I know the numbers, but we, they weren't giving you the numbers on uh, Keeping it close the interwebs. The you know? yes. So we should have them there for you. There's going to be some funny jokes. We do have to try to edit some of the stuff because some doxing went on because people know people's actual names and stuff. So we got to try to edit that down. A little yeah. bit, but... uh, I'll do my best over the next two days. To do oh, it's not me. Editing. I mean, they nobody doxed, but. There's other people on this channel whose names got brought up, and we probably, you guys should listen to it in the background because it's kind of funny, but we can't use it because it's. Uh... <laughs> and we're going to have a guest. Who? Oh, Comic Man Andy. He's hey, coming. Oh, you're the one who told me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's been a long time. Oh, yeah. Ask Dom. Everybody, yeah, everybody, everybody, this is the one thing I'll say. Not one person was on that floor for more hours than I was. And Dom can attest to this. I can tell you that. He, did, he turned, he disappeared everywhere. He went every time I tried to find him. He's on one side, huh? he's on the other side. He was all over the place. That's why he needs yeah. those so four pairs of shoes. Shopping. That's right. He went through the shoes. He would wear a pair, go back, put another ones on, and go, go to the yeah, other well, side. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what it makes time fly too. But you know, like, it's like you'll see some of it too. Like, people are coming and asking because they got rare books. So they'll, like, where's Marco? Bring him over here. We need to, we got two dealers wanting to buy something. Can you give us some advice or like, <laughs> hey, there's a Maybe. rare Boba Fett. What do you think the pricing is on it or whatever? You, choose, you know, like, every, how's this guy going over there? And, you know, I mean, or well, there's a problem with signing people. Like, I don't know, man. Christmas gift idea for Marco to. is to get like one of those big shoe racks that they have at like bowling alleys. And you can just like wheel it in <laughs> behind the table. I hate and you guys, <laughs> man. Like what? <laughs> this is what everybody wants to know dumb stuff i try to tell them all these dumb things on the cons like behind the scene things I this is why you should just wear those chewbacca crocs somebody asked me somebody asked that question they're like how are how do you do this i was like four different pairs of shoes they're like that's the smartest thing ever i say it here everybody's like you're an idiot why don't you get bowling shoes and throw them in the air or something so he, can be, he can be mr rogers he can be mr rogers it's a beautiful day. Yes. It's yeah a i do change it's a beautiful day. i actually day. gotta go i mean to be honest it's this, the cons have been so much back to back to back that I have to like I gotta go and now buy four more pairs of shoes because they're worn out. I can see years. where changing the shoes out would definitely be helpful. I, I won't lie, I, I'm just busting on you because it's fun. Well, you but get I that refreshed totally feeling. See, yeah, I mean my feet, <laughs> nice I, cool, they go, like the nice my work boots shoes, all day. Yeah. I gotta wear two well, pairs man. of socks. Sounds like a Mintos commercial for shoes. <laughs> Fresh. So that's not, even, that's not even what I tell. You. I didn't even tell everybody this. So I actually do change out socks every like couple pairs too. Yeah, because yeah. the socks if they hey, set in your feet. So. What are you in Vietnam? Keep like <laughs> 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 your feet dry, man. Fuck <laughs> 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 gets church for it. It's not about the feet dry. It's about that you actually wear your footprint into your socks also too. So like whenever you can reset when you, that footprint. When you walk into oh, like a medical day I'm at just, the con, is it just full of guys with like trench foot and? <laughs> it's, 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 it's that guy that keep. 
uh, that kept uh, crop dusting us. That's who was in that medic bay this week. <laughs> Maybe he wasn't crop dusting you. Maybe he was just changing his shoes behind you. No, he yeah. was. <laughs> I got to say, everybody was pretty good. There was one guy that just, God, he smelled so bad. That's another thing. Because he didn't have the Dr. Squatch, you know, soap. From- no. Okay, here's another tip. Ready? Look, you got a backpack on. Put a bar of deodorant in it. Axe. Axe spray. Reapply. <laughs> Whatever. I, I, I don't do the sprays because I don't do them, but they'd also like, get everywhere. Yes, but yeah, bro. And by the way, use some bathroom. Like we know where the good bathrooms are. The pro- We call them the executive ones that aren't like off the beaten path. But every once in a while, you don't have the time. So you got to run into the like the normie bathroom. What are you guys eating before you go into God? It's like, no, you see the food that they were, no, the food that they were selling there too. People were online with that food. I'm about to say, I'm, I'm guessing nachos. it's not like the healthiest food in the world. That, no, <laughs> I don't eat that. You don't eat well, con food. Uh, they had a, a, a smoothie table over there too, which was good. People getting smoothies. But what? the nachos were told not to be eaten. That's how. That's what I heard. <laughs> yeah. I think we go like the, the discount movie theater that has like the movie showings for like a dollar or something. And it was funny though. Sticky. It was funny because Dom, Dom one morning was like, try, he's trying to down his coffee. I turned to him and go, what are you doing? He goes, you can't bring us. Uh, st-. I go, Dom, we're not. No, you could bring in whatever shit you want through this door. You just can't do that through the front doors. Like, I don't know, man. Down in my lodge coffee. Yeah, I'm like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> well, I was you like, there's no the way. Coffee, then you're gonna have to go hit up the uh, the none restroom of us, right none of us eat any of, or drink any of this crap. Or you, we'd all be dead. I mean, you're out of your mind. No, don't do that. So apparently, right, just well, need shoes and Red Bull, and you're good to go. <laughs> well, they had, the monster, drinks. they had the monster drinks that they were giving away over there for free. Yeah, so they were monster drinks, but <laughs> there's a I bunch of old that. dudes who've never had a monster before in their life just drink. It. Dude, the oh, vendors man. were jacked up. Fucking monster was great. The problem oh. with monsters is too much liquid. The the, the cans are too big, so you gotta yeah. go take a look. Like, there's too much to volume Dude, to take in. Why is that guy talking like a southern auctioneer? And it's, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is how Norman talks. He's so hyped up on monster. They were hyped. They were hyped. I've never seen it. Like I left. I, I probably left too early. I didn't finish. I didn't finish breaking down the wall and stuff because I had to get we were behind and getting stuff ready for the show. But uh. And there's no service. That was the one thing that sucks about Motor City. Screw whoever runs Suburban because you guys put up blockers. Then you try to charge $50 for every fucking six hours. That's, That's bullshit. Yep. And you can't get anything like, in. Like you guys were all sending messages. I was sending messages out. I didn't get anything. Not so how do you, you, you can't do like, like square or like actual no, like internet? No, we couldn't do that. That's, That's one of the reasons shit. why the money was out because we were, it depended. But like at times you could, sometimes you get like spikes or you'd be able to take PayPal, or you could use Square. Sometimes you, we, uh, uh, I know a certain dealer that I know for sure lost out on at least four to five thousands of dollars in sales in one day because of it. That's crazy. I'd be, I'd be pissed. Yeah, I'd be living. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, because then the cash machines were out. That's the problem. It wasn't just that yeah. the internet was out. Then the cash machine out. So, yeah. and before somebody goes, well, you should have just paid the fifty dollars for that much. You know what? It's already expensive for what you're paying. For boosts over there, you know, you're already yeah. paying eighteen hundred dollars and stuff. Like, let's can I get an can I get an IOU for that AF fifty? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, yeah. I mean, it just is like uh, I mean, it was to the point where they were sending them through the hotel uh, to the other to the restaurant in the hotel, and they ran out. They ran out of the money right by where you buy tickets. There was three ATM, four ATMs on the floor, three ATMs by where you buy tickets. Out of money, out of money. Then you went to the hotel. There was like an entertainment area there, two ATMs out of money. Then there was the one that was like all the way down. I mean, you had to walk a half a mile, and that one from right here ran out of money finally. So like, and then every day they fill them. You just it was so tempting. It was so tempting to just hmm. go over like, hey, buddy. yeah, be like, of course, great. You think like the banks would wheel in like filling these things, right? And you're like, ah, yeah. you like, think the banks would like roll in like the high fee ATMs and like have people paying like six bucks to get your money out or they something? Do. Crazy. We would yeah. we'd actually wave them. A lot of people will wave it for the six dot whatever it was. It was five. It was five fifty to use the ATM, and it was out of money, out of money. To get your own money out of the bank. Man. And every morning, every morning, they were like, that's what I'm saying. There was a small little guy who would come in every morning, fill them all up. Just fill them all up. I mean, it was kind of cool to watch it being done. But 
there was a lot of money going into those ATMs, and there wasn't uh, a dot, there wasn't a lick left in it by the end. Of the I'm day. a banker. I'm parking a freaking truck and putting <laughs> eighteen armed guards outside of that thing. I'm like, oh, it's eleven thirty. Time to restock those bad boys. We're making money. There was money, no boys. way. No, hey, you, you're not. You, there was no way they were getting in there to re. Yeah, we're nice out here. We ain't that nice. You ain't rolling. You're not rolling that type of money across the floor trying to fill an ATM in the middle of the country. In Detroit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's not happening, bro. There's people walking around with crowbars with blood on it. And like, oh, there's one dude just had a wrench. I've seen, paper to the, I've seen Robocop. I know how that goes. <laughs> there's a guy that looked like the maniac from Maniac in New York. OCP. Like dead up the nuts. Yep. Uh, and he wasn't even dressed up for the con. That's just how. Yeah, <laughs> when we do have Ruben, I want to hear his Carrie Fisher complimenting him on his cologne story. Because I'm, I'm oh really? Chatting with him in the chat. Please tell yeah, me your response was I know. What's that? I said, please tell me his response was I know when she commented on his cologne. <laughs> She's like, you're the only one that smells like it. All right, well, we'll see you at Red Vision on Wednesday. We've been too late. I gotta get to bed. I got to get that me. Ah, bed, Schmid. Right. Yeah, bed, Schmid. All right, we'll see you all later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for giving the thumbs up. And Thanks, guys. Peter, you take us out? I got us that one. You're ready. Thank you, brother. Do it. All right. Thanks, Dom. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy, guys.